as we move forward, um, the party was attacked in Galvis's safe house by Madame Seltradot in her enraged bat-like form and a newly created daughter of hers. The daughter was destroyed and disappeared into black ooze. But Madame Seltradot was able to escape. Unfortunately, she escaped with one of the party members in tow. One of the party members who is undergoing a strange transformation. We find ourselves in Galnus's safe house, where the party has decided to take a quick, short rest as Madame Seltradot flies into the distance. So, gentlemen of biting malevolence, what would you like to do? Mm -hmm. I forgot we get to do things in this game. <laughs> I'll head out and start rummaging through what's left of uh, my forge area since they were throwing that around and making a haphazard mess. Yeah, um, what do we see? Uh, nothing. The forge is completely intact. They, It's just missing a few logs. And, like, um, there's stuff on the floor, but nothing is destroyed. No, I'm just picking that stuff up. I'm cleaning up my oddments. Well, like, in such a way as to make it seem like, because for him, this is all happening in split seconds, and he hasn't been thinking about it for over a month. <laughs> uh, Boz kind of looks, kind of is putting his head, kind of like going over the battle, trying to figure out, all right, what can I do now? And all of a sudden his eyes kind of find um, Clovis's spear. And he goes, and he goes over to Gallus. Have you got any uh, javelins that I can borrow? And by borrow, I mean, can I insert them very painfully into his sultry not hide? Uh, just feeling around, picking things up. Oh, yeah. The... Um, and I'll just stand up and I'll kind of just wrap on your arm. Just, to... you know, you feel like a strong fella. Behind the swords. Uh, not Which the much? thin ones. Don't grab the thin ones. Grab the beefy ones. Those are mine. And looking at them, you'll see they're as big as him. <laughs> All right, so I will grab some javelins. Um, you actually find the javelins are in a very nice bodkin. Um, the head of the quiver and bodkin that they are kept in is actually um, stylized with a howling wolf's head. The javelins themselves are, I say simple, but they are of fine craftsmanship, but they are simple javelins of steel. And now to say something with, with context only the Dreadmaster knows, time to embrace my inner perennial. <laughs> I put them on. Um, I'm going to say that all of this counts as light activity during a short rest. So if Quedon or Clovis want to be doing anything non-frantic during this basically hour uh, while you... Recover your hit die, which I believe you did before the break. Mm -hmm. um, I did, certainly. So anything you get back on a short rest. Uh, Zero, the same for you. You have the benefits of a short rest. Um, I don't remember I don't if know, you... Sorry, I didn't mean to catch did you in that. the middle of a bite. <laughs> I did not do this. I will... I will okay. So yeah, go ahead and give yourselves the benefits of a short rest. Um, Zero, you can do the same. Um, with the additional caveats of what you and I spoke about. Um, Dreadmaster, as they're doing light work... I'm going to go over to my sharpening wheel and I'm actually going to unsheath the, um, the great sword. Okay. And it may affect you guys, but you'll see it's actually radiating a uh, very bright light as I'm meticulously sharpening this. It is, it is on fire and the sparks that it gives off are brilliant. Um, so as you guys are uh, close and Queden. Uh, anything you want to do? Yes. Um, yeah. I uh, think I am praying to Lanirium. Okay. Uh, just a, a sort of a sort of uh, protection and safety prayer for Zir. Okay. Um, and I think that's Clovis's whole short rest. Roll a religion check. Okay. 
Um, what are my, where's, hold on. Sorry, I got all my lore documents open too, and they're in front of my sheet now. I appreciate Um, that your docs, that your documents are open. That yeah, makes me feel good. that's a 15. A 15? Mm hmm. Okay. Thought my religion was better than that, but alas, a plus five. Damn intelligence based religion. Based religion. <laughs> Which of Clint's religions is most based? Okay, um, you get the feeling that maybe someone hurt you. Uh, you don't know what effect that will have, but um, yeah, that may or may not have an effect on the future battle. Um, so, Quedon, are you doing anything during the short rest? I'm trying to find healing right now. I'm not the not doing too hot on the spell slots uh, or healing for myself either. Uh, so, Okay. Um, because you were, um, you know, lore wise, you were you were a creature of the forest, and you were like a healer of the forest even before you became a cleric. Go ahead and roll a survival check for me. yeah, I, I, I will. Oh my goodness! I am the worst breadmaster. I am so sorry, everyone. Okay. That's a 17 survival. Okay, um, scrounging around in the garden that the ma uh, matron built for Galnus, you're actually able to find some herbs and things, um, and you are actually able to get enough together to make a single potion of healing. Mm -hmm. I'm a forest man, baby. Uh, that would be 2d4 plus 4, but you only have the 1. Excellent. Uh, you can use it now or you can Uh, save healing. it. Cool. I'm going to save it for sure. Um, I do, I have a, I have a potion of greater healing in my inventory right now. I'm trying to think about when I got, that's right. Cause I used one of them. Didn't we have two? Okay. From, I got two healing potions. That's right. Okay. So I, I, I have two now. Excellent. Yeah. So the Okay. greater is 44 plus 8. Yes. I do have a greater healing. Okay. That Mm -hmm. makes I me also feel really still good. have a, a healing potion in my inventory. That makes me feel Nice. really excellent. Okay. Um, As do so I. as as you guys are doing this work, uh, good to know. Um, I am so you. that's that's what I'm doing. I'm I'm making uh, I'm writing through all of my all of my healing and You and all hear a voice that is very soft, but um, somehow seems to carry to every inch of this. Uh, Sanctuary that you're in. Ma, 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 y'all have found yourselves in a pickle, haven't you? Oh, the look on your face, Bosric, made me so happy. <laughs> Hello? Adrian, Mr. I'm Voice. assuming I, I don't know this voice. No. <clears throat> Everybody else heard, heard heard that voice too. Not 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 not, not just me. I really wish it hadn't. Uh, you can draw your. You can see where the voice is coming from if you'd like. Oh, I'm not doing anything. I Yeah, do I not mean, want to engage after at all. after I hearing want nothing. confirmation If this is that who everybody I think else it is, heard I want it. nothing to do with them at all. Is there someone there, or is it just a voice? Yeah. Uh, well, for you, it's just a voice. I'm If searching. everyone else looks in the direction of the voice, they would see someone there. I'm searching, yeah. I'm looking. All right. I mean, you just leaned up against the side of your tower, kind of just relaxing. Uh, you see what appears like a tall, um, a tall Adamantari with bright white hair in white noble's clothes. And he's just sort of smiling at you. Uh, Boz immediately averts his eyes and it's just like. What's happening? Boz, what are we looking at? Don't make me say the name. Don't make me say the name. Is this a danger? Your friend seems to have some understanding of my personage. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Lutra.
And I've come to offer y'all a little bit of help getting your friend back. I'm just going to kind of listen for the other two, but uh, hearing the whimpering that's coming from uh, Bazarek, I was going, all right, well, friend, who are you? And behind the, um, the forge, I'm just lightly grabbing one of the blacksmith hammers that's just kind of fallen onto the ground. Just a, f a friend. I know my friends. Potentially. Friends are earned. What do you have to offer? And Bob's like, Whedon, if this, if this is who I think it is, or he represents who I think it represents, we can't afford to make a deal like that. We well, I don't think you can afford not to, Necria. After all, your friend has been taken, and you have taken time to heal yourselves while she flew away. As fast as you can walk, and, and he kind of tilts his head over towards um, Galnus. And I don't think that's very fast. By the time you make it to your little Seda friend, she's gonna have more than two sharp points on her body. And I don't think you want that to happen. Now, and he kind of narrows his eyes at Buzzer. If you know who I am, then you know I offer deals, and I never renege on my deals. And there's honestly nothing I want in exchange. Except a way out of here. You see, I got stuck here some time ago. Somebody I was working with found their way through the forest and into this fog, and I must say I am finding trouble getting myself out. If one of y'all would be willing to help me get out of here, I would be more than willing to help you deal with your, uh, bat problem. In Seems like a negligible price to me. If we knew how to get out, I don't know. Well, considering that the last person I came here with is dead, you seem like my best bet. Put a lot of eggs in my basket with you, but the benefits of a life like mine is if you fail, I will simply speak to the next one in line and on and on ad nauseum into eternity till the Dreadmasters call me home. Does somebody want to share with who this is? Uh, to, to this being in front of us, uh, I think Clovis would finally pipe up and say, uh, friend. Clearly, as you have made your way here, found us in the first place, and, um, well, made your presence known to us. I'm sure you are someone either of, uh, great power or otherwise great standing. So I would like to show you the respect that you deserve. Um, but would you mind if my friends and I sort of gathered our thoughts? As you know, we've got a lot on our minds, and I think we're all a bit wired, so I apologize for any disrespect. Um, oh no, no disrespect at all. I was merely trying to help you alleviate your time. You take as much time as you feel like you can afford. And as he smiles, roll a perception check for me. Wow. How exactly are they offering to help? Don't know, hot. We they haven't said yet. Know yet. Yeah, that um, I want to know that. <laughs> that's uh, uh, you can ask. Uh, perception. That's, that's just uh, perception. Fifteen. Yeah. All right. Um, so eight. That is unfortunately not. Neither of those are good enough to notice anything about this figure, other than that he is smiling at you. Thank um, you. and that his, uh, his you do notice that his eyes are like golden colored. My passive perception is 17, if that changes anything. I'll take that. Um, his teeth are sharper than they should be. Okay, that's cute. Like, all of them. Hmm. Shark boy. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so then at, at his uh, acceptance, I think I would sort of I'm going to say this, because this is something that Clovis would know. They're not the broad spade-like teeth of a shark they are longer 
Mm. What what race is this guy? He appears to be an Adamantari, is which is an Iron Elf. An Iron Elf. Hmm. With really sharp teeth. Mm-hmm. So to clarify, what I know right now is that's a voice further away from me than 60 feet. Correct. I'm trying to get us all. I, I'm trying yeah. to group huddle us all now so that we can share information. Um, uh, so I, I pull uh, Quedan, Galnus, and, and Bosric in. Okay, Bosric, clearly you are at least somewhat passingly familiar with who this entity is. More who he represents. Who would that be? Steals up his will, just enough to whisper, be in the tracks. Oh. Oh. Who's that? The Prince of Corruption. Not great for us. Well, yes. not but great for him either, same, because he's same here too. <laughs> and looks, looks a lot more. At the, same, at the same time, at the same time, if he's stuck here and he just wants to get out, we might not. Damn it all. This is how it starts. This is how it starts. Um, I will say, now that you've figured out who he is, Clovis, you recognize that the teeth are not the teeth of a shark. They are the teeth of an alligator. Hmm. My favorite. So and his name and his name is Lutra? I, I As far I, as you know. <laughs> that's what that's what was said. Lutra is otter. So that's very interesting. <laughs> but um, so, um, so the, the, the 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 little girl with the horns. That's like your friend, right? Yes. Like you're in yeah. this together. You guys love each other. Hugs, high fives, yes. handshakes, maybe a chest bump. Uh, so what's your problem with the choice here? I mean, well, my problem is. They look a lot more threatening than they do friendly. They approached us, calling us a friend, and as I said to them, uh, friend is um, earned. At this point, um, you he walks into your 60-foot aura, um, Galna, so you get the outline of this relatively tall elf. And um, he says, I do apologize for eavesdropping, but I think I can answer at least one of your questions. Their problem with making a deal with me is, as your betusked friend said, I represent an entity of great power who falls under circles that are a bit less divine than the ones you might be used to. They don't want to make deals with devils, but there is a saying among you mortals, I believe, that the devil, the you, devil know, you know. I don't know you. Then allow me to introduce myself. And he walks into your ten foot screen. As he does, you see the shape of him shift into a much taller, still very long white-haired elf, but he has, um, instead of eyebrows, sort of a brow of scales. Um, his eyes are still gold, but they are slitted in the middle like a reptile's, and his skin looks like the skin of an albino alligator. And he says, My name is Bilutrex, Prince of Corruption and Archdevil of the Chaos Realm. Now, are y'all going to accept my help? Or you gonna let that little Seda girl die? I'm happy to help you, and I want nothing in return, which is rather, rather genuine of me, I must say. But my time is short as well, and you are not the only heroes here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What does your, what does your help entail exactly? I think he said, "Get him out of here if we get out." I will provide you with weapons that can take down a flying entity, which you are sorely lacking in the absence of your roguish friend. And I will provide you passage to her castle so that perhaps you will even beat her there and prevent whatever is happening to your Seda from getting worse. 
the one who was going to send you there can no longer do it, and I'm afraid the pathway was destroyed when she attacked you here. Weapons are of no use right? to me. The choice is to buzz. He actually he looks resigned. Just... I will sit down. <laughs> so, uh... Weapons are of use to your sightless friend. And he, um... He reaches um, like this, just onto the palm of his hand, and he pulls out a javelin made of bone. And he says, This javelin was forged in the Chaos Realm. If your blind friend throws it, and it's within that little mark of what he can see, it will find its mark, whether he can see it or not. Now, I only have the one, so he is going to have to go find it, but I can give him that. I could perhaps empower you a bit, since your connection to your divinity seems strained. Doesn't it make more sense for Boz to get a javelin to throw at something that's further away than I can see? I will say mechanically... There is no javelin that can be thrown farther than you can see. The maximum range of a javelin is 60 feet. Hmm. But I'd still have a, um, it's outside the realm of me. Uh, that's disadvantage for me. I think, I think this is a special one that, that it's a special one. If you can sense them, you can hit them. Oh, basically yeah. it would take away your disadvantage for using the weapon. I am highly disturbed by what he just said to me. Um, um Buzz, Buzz, kind of, this is kind of, I don't want to speak for any of you, but he does make it, he does make a good point. We need help. We need to set up for headed us our heads on a pot last time. And he looks at he actually now looks at Bela Trax and is I suppose How's my great uncle? Just wondering. I've walked away. Your great uncle. Yeah, you know. Oh, you're one of the cobs. Yep. Your great uncle has done fine work for me, boy. And now you see, now that he's closer and in his true aspect, he has like a Grinch smile. His mouth goes way further up on his face than it oh. should. Well. Yes, he's another fool cob saying yes. Can I'll put a, I'll him? put a hand on Boz's shoulder. In in solidarity, not in not in an attempt to stop him. So which one of y'all wants to be my ticket out? I um I'm actually gonna admit this isn't gonna the, the point of the corruption. This isn't gonna interfere, is it? Well, that depends on the rest of your actions in this realm. Long as it doesn't reach your heart, I must say I do find the the makings of that particular curse very interesting. They remind me of a piece of my own from years ago. Yeah, I think I know the one you mean. Well, who's it going to be? The golden suppose... boy, the warrior, the blind one, or Mopey over in the corner? I'm going to um, step away, and I'll talk down to the, uh, the small lantern at my uh, side. Um, thoughts, you two? Um, Adivar doesn't respond, but the Mother Heart says, He is a being of chaos. He is one of our children. Um, though he is, again, not a being of order, a being of chaos, and a devil, as he says. A very powerful devil. Be careful what deals you make with him, but this one seems fair. Belotrax is many things. Dishonest is not one of them. 
then I'll do it just to take away the apprehension of the others. And I'll vouch up. I'll do it. At the very least, if he does a shit ton of corruption somewhere, someplace, I won't be around to see it. Fair enough. And he reaches out a finger and he touches Galnus on the forehead. And Galnus, you see just a little... Well, you don't... Everyone else sees a tiny flame tattoo appear right on the crown of Galnus's head. Uh, that's easily covered by his hair. And Belutrak says, now then. I think y'all have a date. With a very tall, very angry young lady. I will, and he snaps his fingers. Before he does that, I'm going to hand the javelin to Bozrak and be like, you're faster than me. It's going to take me longer to get in there. Right. He snaps his fingers and you find yourselves um, where you left at the base of the tree. Give me just one second. Um, there we go. All right. So... Please place yourselves at the base of the tree. That's fucking nuts, bro. Huh? I'm mad. <laughs> he insulted me twice. He did. It's on your conscience. I'm having yes. a bit of trouble with roll 20, so if you'd be able to put me there for a minute. Yeah. Me also as well. Thank you. <laughs> to be fair, he didn't mean to insult you the first time. Yes. That just kind of <laughs> happened. But... All right, you guys are in. And you did, even with your hour break, uh, beat Madame Selchadot. You don't know by how long, but she is not here. So you have some time to do other things if you'd like. Uh, Beeler Tracks did not accompany you. Damn. Oh. No. You you guys have trouble with hard decisions, or is that just like a momentary thing? Um, making deals yeah. with devils is generally advised against in every line of study that I've ever pursued. That said, I was ultimately going to do it if nobody else was, but then you step forward. I am... Lucky for me. Oh, well, lucky, lucky you. <laughs> I'm it's your friend. What do you want to do? To that. Um, well, are we inside or outside? You're outside. Uh, you gotcha. are right at the base of the tree. Okay. Um, first things first, if we go in there and we've uh, made it before them, there's a big statue that I would like to beat the shit out of. I don't think we've done for that. We're here to save your horned friend, and you want to beat up the furniture. There's something about that statue. It's it's made of aurum, and there's energy coursing through it. I don't know if it's a battery bank, some sort of reserve that she can draw power from, but I think getting rid of it may be of benefit to us. I'm going to pull out my flask and just... I agree. All Jeez. right. Oh. Fuck it. I love this plan. Let's go beat up the, the, the statue, the couch. Hell, if there's a nice bureau holding a dress, let's fuck up her hangers. Let's go. There's another pro there's another thing though. Mm. We don't know exactly what it does. Breaking it could have worse consequences. And we don't have time to study it. All right, we'll start with the couch. Well, Boz, you've got two very magically adept people. Perhaps we can find out a little bit. <laughs> well, that didn't work last time, but we can try again. I just want to, I just want suffered a skull and I want Zia safe. I do as well. If that statue is why she's able to heal herself, I would very much like to get rid of it. I she would heal like because she's a vampire. I would like to get in there and hit her in the face. I don't. So whatever form that yeah. takes, mm -hmm. 
Well, the I'm statue in. does have her face on it, so <laughs> we could get in some practice shots. I think I'll wait for the real thing. <laughs> Dreadmaster, would I be able... I don't know if I was the one who examined... I don't believe I did any examining of the statue last we were here. Would, like... Since it was, I do it was me, more... and I rolled a hot three on it. So, yeah, yeah, since I someone have... else should look at it. Well, since I specifically have more of a healing angle on on my particular source of magic, I was wondering if if yeah, I would have a better better. Um, of that. Yeah, um, roll an Arcana check, um, and I'm going to move you guys. Yeah, are we assuming that we're inside? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Unless you want to stay outside, Buzzard. Arcana. Uh... Um, let's go. Okay. That is, uh, it's a 19. Okay. Um, so you, uh, Bosric, you can decide what you're doing while I'm narrating this. Uh, you I waited look at the window to watch. Okay. Uh, you look at the statue, um, around it. Uh, it seems to have lost some of the color that it had the last time you were here. Um, and you get the idea that it is basically an arcane battery. Um, it does not give off healing magic. It actually gives off um, evocation and transmutation magic. Mm. And it's less intense now than it was when we were here last? Yes, as if some of its reserves have been used. I relay that to the party. Hmm. What? What is? Zero. I have something for you to do in a minute. I promise. What has she done? Take your time. Require making the making this little sister, perhaps. Could also be that stupid armor that stopped me from beating the shit out of her. Could be that as well. Hmm. Anybody else need a drink? Sure. I could use some courage. Oh, it'll put some fucking hair on your chest. Here you go. About time for some of those anyway. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a couple of paces back uh and and do a little uh, silent prayer to uh, Zorakis as well. I, I've I've been I've been thinking about my relationship with my God ever since scary motherfucker started questioning it. Um, for just uh, protection from the uh, worst case scenario that he happens to oversee. Okay. Hmm. Perhaps some uh, apologetic tones. <laughs> so the thing is, I'm not actually going to be good at kicking this statue's ass. So, um... yeah. And I don't, I mean, it's a battery. What? is kicking its ass is I don't know if it's going to release I don't know if it's going to release anything well generally speaking this is this is just general battery lore if you break the battery you can't you can't use any of its energy anymore so the sure. idea is by breaking it mm -hmm. access to whatever the magic is for would be cut off so whatever whatever she's using it for would be something that she can't do. Well, I, I'm not a I'm not good with you know science or religion or anything. But if you break the thing that's housing power, doesn't the power go somewhere? Yes. So we could potentially blow ourselves up. True. Bosric, roll a perception check for me. <laughs> that one needs too far in his head. Yep. And this is not a great looking window. 
Hmm. I wonder perhaps then if there's some way to disable it. Without necessarily blowing it up. I do have to say I love that our combat session came to three guys standing around a statue going... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a, the last session was a combat session. Mm -hmm. Let us ponder. See, the problem is the carburetor's busted. Yeah. If we get that into the shop, we can get it fixed real quick. I'll say what's wrong with it. Arm and ain't got no gas in it. Ain't got no gas in it. <laughs> the problem with the statue with it. is too much it's missing it. its flux capacitor. Mm -hmm. If we oh, reverse we the polarity of the statue, then we'll blow her up. We need to remove the gas. If we use the Somebody force, actually... we can get it right to the crack. No. Meanwhile, cut to yes. Zier dying. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be a good place. Us standing around a statue like a bunch mm -hmm. of jackasses, probably Bobby, a good place to go to Zier. This statue is full of propane. <laughs> All right. Well, in the event that we can't do anything with the statue, how best do we prepare ourselves in this space? What are we? Are we taking high ground? What are, what are we doing? I'm not the I'm not the leader guy, Bosric. What do we do? Hmm. Help! What's the plan? <laughs> he's, uh, now that he shook me, can I can I make another perception check? Now that I'm what what what? what? Not yet. Okay. Uh, I'm the I, thinking guy. I've Bosch, already been the fighting guy. I've, I've already been pacing uh, back and forth, right. um, like away from the rest of the group, away from the statue. This, can I just go find Boz? Sure. This, yeah. this isn't my thing, but you use magic, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, the uh, the squirrely guy, he uses magic, right? Yes. And Bozarek hits things, right? Correct. Gonna so rename this session Dunk on Queden. He's <laughs> he's so Bozarek has the uh, the javelin of Everfind. Mm -hmm. So when she appears, he hits her. She drops. I'm just going to start using her head as an anvil. Correct. You guys could use some kind of magic to control or diminish what she's capable of doing. And we then we get your diminutive try. friend to stick one or two horns up her ass. Agreed. That's what I've got. Good plan. What do we do now, though? Like, before she gets here? Probably. Is there anything we can do to set up? Um... So I'm going to need you here because I can't see the room. Is there mm -hmm. another way in? Is the ceiling open 40 or 80 feet up? How can she get in? Um, big windows. She bust out of one of those last time, which if she's still in her big bat form is, I think, actually the only way she's going to get in. Um, and She uh, could fit through these doors. Okay. But there is also a her-sized hole in this wall where she mm -hmm. bust out before. Okay. I'm assuming Clovis relays that? Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm be like pointing all that. So, classic cartoon trip of there's already a hole that's been busted, <laughs> so but she's going to bust hole. another <clears throat> one instead. Here's, yeah. here's my plan, or my <laughs> thought, my idea. I'm still a little drunk. Bear, uh, bear with me. I'll stand by the door. If she mm -hmm. comes in the door, I'll smash her head in. Mm -hmm. one of you stay with me so you can support me. Right. Bosrek <laughs> stands nearest the hole you described. If she comes in there, whew. like doors Bosrek have arches, check. broken windows don't. And then uh, the other one of you... 11. 11. The other one of you backs him up and whichever one of the holes she comes in, we congregate onto the one that she appears at. Okay, Bosric, she's coming. You see her now, and she's very close. She will be here in a turn. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to. I go run, knock, run. knock, knock, knock. Yeah, we're, we're out of time. She's here. Oh Jesus! Where? I mean, oh, Zerach. She'll, she'll be here in six seconds. I'm going to. Door, okay. hole, give me something. Which one was she heading for? Or could you don't know. Uh, you cannot tell. So 
I'm going to go ahead and tell you what was happening just there. Um, your initial perception check was to see if you would get a an attack, a surprise round on her. If you had failed this perception check, she was going to get a surprise round on you. Right now, you are in initiative. Okay, so... So everybody, go ahead and roll initiative for me, and then as soon as Zira's back, I will have them roll initiative as well. First low roll of the game... Oh, no! Now the nat 20 shows up. Oh, fuck. I, I didn't click all my shit. That's okay. I can add you guys in. Okay. Sorry. It's been a while. No, it's okay. Like you said, it's been a minute. That's a five. All right, oh, shit, uh, nat 20, Bowser. One, one, at a, one at a time, please. So, uh, Clovis, you said you have a 12. 12. All right. Uh, add turn 12. And, Queden, you have a five. Yes. All right. Can I get Galnuses? I did not realize I was muted. It's an 11. An 11. Goes to 11. <laughs> All right. I will wait for Zeers, but in the meantime, Madame Seltradot will get... Not very good. Only a three. Uh-oh. That seems incorrect. Hold on. No, it's not a three. It's an eight, which still isn't great, but... Um... Okay. Uh, but yeah, as soon as Zir gets back, we will move on with combat. Can I buy a reroll on initiative? I have a couple of spare souls. I'm afraid I don't uh I don't market in souls there. Darn. No soul market. No soul market. Where will I buy um, my souls now? But while we wait for Zero to return, let's pop over into more interesting music. And she reappeared. <laughs> I've summoned Zia! Hello! Time. The cat uh, has been medicated. The Zia, go ahead and roll back. initiative for me. You are what currently... The fuck? You are 60 feet in the air. <laughs> what? Um, at 1 plus your level of HP. Conscious with what we talked about before in Madame Seltradot's clutches. Okay. Can I... I'm going to pull a token on that I can control so I can click on it. Uh, uh -huh. Just put yourself where that one was, right next to her. Or in front of her, if you want. I can be right here. I don't mind. Okay. Right here or right here? Uh, um, yeah. Well, that is on her square, so that does make more sense. Fantastico. 22. Oh. Damn. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. So, top of the lineup, Bosric. Um, we did discuss. We haven't talked about it in a while, so might need some reminders. Okay. I will private message you. I know, I recall the wisdom, but I don't recall anything else. So the javelin I'm using, the, the javelin he gave is just a resummon javelin? No. It is, uh, it's a javelin of seeking, so you get advantage on attacks with it. Hot. Um, I will... Stand within, uh... You are inside a house right now. Just so you know. There is nowhere you can throw that javelin out at her. You will have to go outside. Oh, I'm, I'm aware. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm, I'm positioning myself to wait for when she comes through the door. I have the javelin in one hand, my crossbow within easy reach in case she comes in a place that's out of my range, and I'm holding a shot dependent upon where she is, which weapon I use. If that's all right. Yes. Okay. If she comes through the door, she gets the javelin. If she comes through somewhere within 80 feet, she gets the crossbow. Okay. Uh, and you, need to, you need to determine which weapon you're holding. I will say that. So you either need to hold with the javelin or hold with the crossbow. Good point. Uh, I'll shoot, I guess, javelin. 
Okay. Sounds good. One sec, I'm finishing up something. And, uh, Zir, you saw my earlier message, right? About the effects of Clovis's prayer? Yep. Okay. All right, and I have sent you what's going on with you. So, it is now your turn. Can you please make that wisdom save for me? That's all that, yes, that is all that I have written down. So I didn't know if there was anything else. Great. Um, and currently baseline, I am not. Uh, you are not, you are not the first one. You just can't do the second one until you succeed. Right. Yeah. Good. To know. I don't like all the secret talk. Don't worry about it. Make me scared. Sneaky, <laughs> sneaky. Good morning, good morning, good morning, secrets, okay. <laughs> um, the charm effect will um, persist. Currently, there are no hostile creatures here. Her or your allies. Fantastic. Um, but that uh, does, unfortunately, forfeit your turn unless you want to... Because you are in the air, so unless you want to, like, jump out of her arms. No, I don't... I don't think I'd want to do that. Okay. Let me... But that does, unfortunately, end the prayer effect. That's okay. To, to reveal that secret, your prayer was successful enough to give Zira a plus two on checks until she failed. Hmm. Excellent. Plus, she would have had a 15. Yes. Which, not still not good enough. Um, yeah, no, I don't think there's anything I want to do. So you're good. Okay. Uh, Clovis. Yes. Um, I'm going to take a, uh, a play out of my mentor's book here, and I'm going to move... Uh... Um, so let me go ahead and mark on um, on the map here. Oop. Yeah, can you can you ping or mark her Kool-Aid manhole? Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to. Yeah, because I would have moved as close to the, that as possible, but still with the There we go. Door. Okay, so that red line is where she Kool-Aid man through. Red line, you say? With the... <laughs> where? Oh, uh, I do not it, see. Uh, should be to... Uh, here, I'll ping and see if that makes it show there up. There we there go. Yep. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, 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 okay. Yeah, that section of wall is gone. <laughs> I will you allow you to retcon Bosric that you are next to it. Yeah, I would have been yeah. either between the. So yeah, I'll say that you're there. Yeah, that's fine. And Clovis is coming right here. Okay. Um, and I am going to hold action cast uh, Guiding Bolt, uh, and I will shoot it at her when she appears. Okay. Galnus. So I will move, seeing how they're uh, nicely lining up for her. Um, <laughs> I will uh, attempt to, oh, do I have the right thing here? Yeah, I will move one, two, three, four, five. I'll start to move away this way. As I'm walking, I just take my flask a good big gulp. I'm going to let my uh, hammer, as I'm holding it, up towards the head. I'm going to let it drop in my hand till I'm holding it at the uh, legitimate grip. I'm going to touch my uh, shield to my chest as I'm walking and say, she extinguished her flames. Allow them to reignite. And my face actually goes very angry. V more feral than you've probably seen. And I will cast Shield of Faith. 
instead okay. of it being that like light sheen you see, it actually erupts as a like a blaze around me. I love it. Hell yeah. All right. Um, cool. So you cast Shield of Faith on yourself? Yep. Awesome. That will be the uh, end of my turn. All right. It is Madam Seltradot's turn. I'm going to move both of you to here. That will trigger Clovis's attack, but not Bosric's, because Bosric cannot quite see her. Mm -hmm. Hooray! Um, that is roll to hit with plus nine, which means uh, 19 to hit. Ah, uh, that will do it. Excellent. Uh, 4d6. That will be 15 radiant damage, and the next attack against her has advantage. Nice. Um, okay. Uh, Zir, can you make a wisdom save for me, please? Yeah. Sweet net 20. Is this against a spell or other magical effect? I forgot to say. It is not. Okay, right. That's what I thought. <laughs> okay, um, you hear her scream and your eyes turn and trace that guiding bolt back to Clovis, and you realize you have to drive your knife into his throat. How dare he hurt your mother? Yeah. <laughs> you now treat Clovis as a hostile entity. <laughs> and, Bring it uh, on, goat girl. <laughs> she um, closes your head closer into her chest, and she lets out a screech uh, this does not affect Bosric because of his position, but I need Galnus and Quedon and Clovis to roll a constitution save for me. Quedon, you do get the effect of Galnus's aura. Clovis, you do not. Net 20. Uh, All right. That is 18. no damage. Okay. 24. Okay. So Quedon will take no damage. Uh, Galnus, you will take half damage. Bosric, you will take full damage. Me. What? Bosric, sorry, Clovis. <laughs> my <What>? bad. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Um. So, um. Clovis, you will take 35 thunder damage. Okay. Uh, Galnus, you will take half of that, which is 17. Um, and Clovis, you are stunned. Stunned? Yes. Damn it. Alright. Um, and then she is going to finish her movement, flying to here, and she is going to deposit Zir right there. Okay. Would she Did trigger she... Bosric's held Yes, action? she would trigger Bosric's held action. Okay. Um, because my javelin does advantage anyway, is it still going to use up the guiding bolts? Yes. Okay. You can always throw a different javelin. Uh, I'll, I'll throw a regular javelin then. Okay. Is it is it short range? Uh, yeah. It's it's uh just you get advantage on the attack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. And yeah, she passes within your regular range. Yeah. I'll be reaching for my sword. 19, which is 27. Okay, that hits. Just throw your sword at her. It hits her in the eyeball. Nine damage, which should be two hits, which should knock her down. It does. Uh, she still deposits Zir. Zir, I need mm -hmm. you to roll a wisdom save. Actually, no. You don't need to roll a wisdom save. Bosric is now hostile to you. Okey dogs. Um, she is uh, grounded. Let me roll a dex save for her. Uh, she is grounded. She is grounded and prone. Oh, she's prone? Yes! And she's in Galvis's range. Yes! And I am. Um, and I am grounded and prone. No, you are just. You are just on the ground. Uh, nice. She is actually going to use one of her three legendary resistances to not be prone. That's fine. 
Burn. Uh, Quaid it. Still value. I got a heal, man. Not me. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, you're stunned, aren't you? Can I do something about that? You cannot. Galness, I need a, constitu a constitution save for a concentration check on your shield of faith. I can't 19. Do anything. Can't All right. Do anything about you that. maintain your shield of faith. Loving the plus yeah. nine to the con checks. <laughs> uh, if you have lesser rest, or no, that doesn't affect stunned. No. Damn. Rad. Can't move and can speak. Oh, right. so you're just kind of fucked. Okay. Yeah, I'm a little fucked. It's fine. Don't wait. I'm. Not the priority. Clovis, the Not wall the priority. will hold. <laughs> Clovis <laughs> looks like he will be okay. Not the priority to heal. Who else yeah. took damage in that massive? Uh, Galmus. You know, I'm pretty hurt. Hey. <laughs> in Whoa. case you're curious. Hey, wow. Zir, Good for you. You're not, you're not here right now. Zir, look. <laughs> you're not here. I'm talking to the rest of the, the party right now. I don't you know, know. Zir, you can spend your turn pummeling our new foe. Zir's, Zir. pretty, in, Zir's pretty injured. If you want to give her a heal, that would be fantastic. You look a, you're looking a bit rabid. I'm, I'm not actually going to look at you. Uh, okay. Um, Understood. <laughs> But just open table, if anyone's curious. Zero looks a little rough. He <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Uh-huh. Good good to know for future. Um for for present though. Um you took what, like 30 damage? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 35. 35. I rolled very low on that. Get Thank on God. Yeah. Stendar was with me for that one. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay. Um, great. We are going to give you a heal. On a, on, a, on a scale of one to, on a scale of dead to a hundred, where, where, where are you, where are you, where are you sitting, Gallus? Oh, Gallus uh, is fine. I, I met, um, <clears throat> if you're looking at me, I'm about an 86 out of 103. Okay. <laughs> okay, then you're chilling, as a matter of fact. Can I try to... Okay, then I I may try to attack in that case. Um, okay. Or, uh, sorry. Yeah, uh, drinking a potion for myself is an action, yes? Yes. Okay. Um, That's a bonus action. Uh, it, it's an action or a bonus action, whichever you want. Oh, uh, understood. Okay. Um, I am going to drink my potion of greater healing. All right, 4d4 plus 8. Yep, because I am not sitting good right now. 2, 3, 4. And then I've still got a healing potion and some heal left in spells. That's good. 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 4 is 9, 10, 11, plus 8. So 19 total. 19 total, great. Nice heal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sometimes I forget that I'm trying to murder you guys because this music slaps so hard. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright. Um, and I still got... I still got me an action. You still have an action or a bonus, yes. Whichever I'm you'd like to use. I'm saving. I'm going to save my slots and hit that baby with uh, some. Let's see. Where are my cantrips? <laughs> hit that baby with an attempted Toll of the Dead. Okay. The dead. So, what um, save is that for her? That is a wisdom save. All right. DC? 17. Uh, she will pass. Yeah. With a natural 20. Well. <laughs> Which then, is fine then, because she rolled a natural. Even... She rolled a nat one for her, her roll save. <laughs> why why so, did you even ask? Because I, I asked before I rolled it. <laughs> um, okay. It is now her turn. She will use the first of her legendary actions. Um... She screeches and flaps her wings. I need um, Galnus and Quedon to roll deck saves. Doing pretty good on the saves so far. Let's... Hey, that's... 
dexterity save, you said? Mm-hmm. Uh, another 19. Nice. Galmas? 24. <laughs> nice. Nice. I um, almost pooped myself. No. Oh. Uh, okay. So that will be... Um... Uh, six bludgeoning damage to both of you. And then she will fly over here. As she used her wing flap ability. And she, that will bring us to Bosric. Is she back in the sky? Or yes. did she just... Okay. Height? I'm hit her twice again. Uh, she's gonna do something cool. Uh, what's her height, Dreadmaster? In the air? 30 feet. That seems about right. I had it all planned out. Best laid plans. Never mind. Well, it is your turn. Well, so. Do do some. Well, it's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, even if it's just movement, even if it's picking the uh, the uh, yeah. small scruffy child in front of me up so that she does not tear my jugular out. Oh, I'm actually going. Then yeah, I'm going to do. Uh, as long as you get well, within sixty I'm feet also, of her, I'm your javelin. Of... Boz as well. I'm pretty. Certain. Yeah, but I can't yeah. do anything. Boz can. I'm not worried about his jugular. I'm worried about mine. Yeah, if you can get within sixty feet of her, yeah. your yeah. javelin of seeking will get a regular hit. Um, now, because he's stunned, I presume I don't get flanking. You do not. Yeah, I don't think so. All right, then I will just bonus action fighting spirit. Okay. Be boring. Uh, five temp hit points. Mark that. You also don't know that Zira is hostile to you right now. I'm going to presume that because we are under the assumption that she's been turned into a vampire like the last one. If I that's don't... fair to presume. Or, okay, may I make a perception check as, or an insight check as to Zir's... Uh, Not as a free action. Okay. Because that discerning that in combat is not something you can just do. I can take a hit. It's fine. If she come for me, it's fine. All right, well, then let me move back. I mean, I'm not saying don't hit her. I'm just saying, would Bosric hit someone he doesn't know is an enemy? They're, yeah, they're, I have, the only I have person... To, I have yet to act. Yeah, the only mm -hmm. person on your team that currently has grounds to hit her with no recompense is Galnus, because she was taken, and Galnus hates everything that she touches. So... <laughs> And, and again, do whatever you want. I'm just saying do it with the presumption that you might not know that she's hostile. So, like, attack her non-lethally or whatever, you know. Do what your character would do. I mean, my intent was to attack her non-lethally to knock her out. Okay, like, that sounds no, like no something Bosra could do, whether yeah. she was an enemy or not. Hmm. So why don't you just, so just do that? I wasn't saying don't do what you're doing. I was just saying do it with the knowledge that you don't know she's hostile. Yeah, no, the intent was always not by okay. I was, I'm pulling his ear. Mm -hmm. Okay. A friendly punch. A punch for friends. So I will attempt to knock her out. Do a pommel strike. Uh, that is a 19. Yes. Zier, does a 19 hit you? Yes. All right, non-lethal damage. Zier, hold on. Before you roll damage, Zier, what is your AC? 16. Okay, then a 19 hits. <laughs> nope. Your AC is 18 until I tell you otherwise. Then a 19 still hits? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. But I'm telling Zier. Yes. Understood. Yeah. Um, as, is you pommel, as you pommel strike Zier, you Understood. see that crystal armor up here. Yeah. But I still do damage? You, you did. did. Non -lethal. Uh, uh, 12 non lethal damage. Uh, Zero is knocked out. Yes. Easy. 
I right. am safe. So, so since I was attack. knocked out, so since I was knocked out non-lethally, I'm not in death saves. I'm stable. You are not. Okay. You are technically stable with one HP. You are just unconscious. Fantastic. Which means you are still charged. Yeah. And also, we swarmed. All right. Um, I assume that wouldn't go in. Now, advantages do not stack, sadly, right? No. Mm -mm. So, so I can't advantage and disadvantage from the from the javelin cancel each other out and then get my advantage. Eh, didn't think so, but advantage always... and disadvantage makes a net always... neutral. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it. but it doesn't give you that. Still, it's really nothing. Ask, though. It is. Anyway. Yes. All right. So now I am within. Ah! No! No! Stop moving! I don't need you to move. I need the the. Uh... There we go. Yeah, now I'll throw a javelin with my second attack. Okay. Uh, it's not gonna hit. Okay. Uh, also, so that was the. No, no, wait. Um, advantage just. I'm just gonna throw regular javelins. Yeah. And so you are two javelins down. So you have eight javelins and one cool javelin. Javelin of cool. All right. Um. Zir. You wake up prone on the ground with six hit points. Okay. <laughs> you have vampiric regeneration. Uh, right. Six hit points. Six hit points. Six. Why didn't that get me up? Prone. You are prone. One uh, damage. But so I'm here's prone. here's what's going through Zier's head. You. Um, Clovis has been removed as an enemy for now. Bosric has hit your mother twice and hit you. Yes. Hmm. 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 I have to think so hard <laughs> about everything. <laughs> uh -huh. That's fine. Just use as much time as you like thinking. Say seven or eight seconds. Perhaps 10 to 20 rounds of combat. I believe yeah. in you guys. You yeah, got Zier, this. Sierra just sits and ponders for a long mm -hmm. time. <laughs> what does friendship <laughs> mean? Um... <laughs> Zir is going to... I was going to say, that's very out of character for Zir, who has face-checked every problem she's found so far. <laughs> True. Fucking correct, my friend. Okay, so... I view, them, don't fix it. I view them as hostile. I yes. don't... You specifically view not, Bosric as hostile. But I'm not acting out of normal. Or is there, like, a level of, like... I must do everything I can. So to put this in context, Bosric just stabbed um, Kelebek twice. Correct. How would Zir react to that? I'd like to still be tactical, I think is where my head's at. You can, so you can be tactical, out, okay. but these are your enemies and they are attacking your mother. Correct. Okay, so I can be... Okay, I didn't know if there was like a... I'm gonna, blindly, to I'm gonna blindly throw myself into striking, or if I can tactically set myself up for a better scenario. No, you can tactically set yourself for a better scenario. Fantastico. I am going to disengage. Uh, he's stunned, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. Oh, sick. Okay, even <laughs> My better. My ears are still extreme. You mean stunning? Um, okay, so half <laughs> Well, movement, that much is obvious. Yes, half, half movement. movement. Stand. Mm -hmm. Well, how do you round 35 per half? 15. So you have 20 feet okay. of movement. So I have 20. I go. I saw that look on your face, Queen. It's always round down. For the benefit of the players. 
I'm just bad at math. Don't ever look at me. <laughs> I make face. I... Don't perceive me. Yeah. You're, you're gonna bow me, aren't you? I go. I. I mean, it's it makes sense. My my shield is big and red. It has a dot okay. in the middle. I cunning action. Dash. Okay. Five, ten, fifteen. 25, 30. 35. I try to hide. Okay, uh, roll a stealth check. Shwink. Eight. Thirteen. Okay. Um, you might be hidden. Okay. Hiding is action? Yes. Okay. Since you dashed, is your bonus. Okay. Very true. And if I had dashed as my action, hiding would have been my bonus. Yes. Flip flop. Okay. That's it for me then, I suppose. All right. Clovis, the ringing in your ears and the horrible feeling fade. Okay. Does but it... that's your turn. That's my turn. Okay. Yeah. Does, does Zir not get a, a wisdom save? At the end of yep. the turn? No? Nope. Interesting. Nope. Not yet. I got I have a I have a system. Mm -hmm. Let me do. Let me try mm -hmm. something. Let's see. Galness. I just don't like her being her enemy. That's I don't personal, like it either. It's but... a personal personal feeling of mine. <laughs> Alright. Um uh, let me do a quick ruler check. Um You can sense here. Oh I know. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to growl out. Come down and fight me, you witch. And then as I'm walking towards her, I'm just going to call out, and your little horned friend is behind the statue. Yay! All right. And I'll, okay. I'll end my turn there. There's nothing I can really do. All right. Um, at Actually, the end bonus of your turn... action. Bonus action. I will just. Uh, I can do it as an action. Bonus action doesn't matter. I'm gonna take my greater potion and just. Okay. Chug it down, but I'm gonna take the bottle and throw it in the direction of Zir. All right. Uh, it shatters on the statue. Um, go ahead and roll your four d four plus eight. Oh, I forgot it was four d four. Um, two, three. To be seven, nine plus eight, seventeen. All right. Um. Cool. Well, uh, how she is seventeen. Not... He... He... Yeah, he healed seventeen. Oh. Uh, so she is not going to use a legendary action because she doesn't have any. Uh, yeah. that can reach you. So seventeen healing for me? No. No, for for Gelmas. Oh. He drank a potion. Uh, oh, I heard. I, heard I threw the bottle at you something. to draw. He threw an empty bottle at you. Yeah. Um, you threw a bottle at me. Yes. <laughs> For what? Because you threw you're it. obviously fucking weird. You are a bad guy. And you're running away from us behind the the, the thing. Thought... So so I threw the bottle not in, to in fairness, attack in fairness, you. I threw it to draw their attention to where you are. Because I hate you. you. I mean, I'm helping. I thought I was getting healed. So, uh, uh, <laughs> an empty bottle at you. Seltradot's, <laughs> uh, Seltradot's wounds will heal. And dare she? she will also take a deep breath in, recover her sonic screech. I did roll for it. I know. Um, that doesn't make me like it anymore. Uh, well, you're out of it, so... Good. Uh, and she is going to unleash a screech that will hit Bosric, Galnus, and Quedon. <laughs> Wisdom sa or constitution saves. And we get knocked out if we fail this? You can fuck an eye if you fail this. Alright, um, 21 is a success. Con save? 19 con save. plus 9. Success. Just an 18. Failure. Fuck. Uh, so you are stunned. 
Um, and now I roll high. Sorry. Uh, so that is 43 damage for you, Quedon. I'm super down. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> so you take 43 damage. Uh, Gelnus and Bosric, you both take 21. And you are not downed. Or you are not stunned. But not Quedon, stunned. you are. Oh. No, Quedon, you are stunned. They're God not stunned. Yeah. How many, how many did you say? 21. 21. So technically I take 16 because I had 5 10 hit points. Hmm. Yes. Um, and then... Um, what does she want to do? She wants to avoid you, so she's gonna. Uh, Quita, you are stunned. Yeah. Bosra, Kira. Oh. <laughs> How high up is she? Uh, she is 30 feet off the ground. There's a very good possibility you you could down her this time and get Galnus close enough to hurt her. Uh, I'll shoot her with my crossbow. Okay. Um, I'll do another... I'll do my last uh, fighting spirit. Okay, to get advantage. Yeah. Nice. And 10 pit points. Okay. Uh, all right. Twenty-one, two seventeens. That'll hit. That'll hit. Only two damage, and okay. plus and minus cancel out. So standard roll with normal javelin. That. Why uh, do you? Oh, because you fight experience, right? Yeah. Um. Twenty-four. That hits. One D six plus strength. Eight. All right. Uh, and she is grounded. Yes. Um. All right. Is that it for you? That's it. Okay. Um. She will use a legendary... She will use two of her legendary actions to get back into the air, using her wing attack action, but not actually hitting anyone. Uh, and she's not going to move. She's just going to lift back up. So she's, what, 10 feet in the air? 30 feet in the air. She moves half her flying speed. Her flying speed is 80. Mm -hmm. uh, Zir. It's time. It's clobbering time. Um, well, I'm not particularly hidden, unfortunately, because I got a bottle thrown at me, which was rude. But I've got- So some... is being a bad guy. Eh, what you gonna do? Um... I'm 
just get in there, huh? Have any of the projectiles stuck into her skin, by the way? All of them. Good to know. I'm going to... Uh, There aren't any stuck in her skin anymore, except the two that you just fired, because when she regenerates, they got pushed out. Oh, Oh, well, that hands is an action, huh? But for the sake of heat metal, there is a giant metal spike in her chest. Yeah, I got to get close enough. I'm just letting you know. If you get within 60 feet, that's close enough, isn't it? No, because um, we spoke about this and you said that it is a sight spell, so I need to be able to see them, and I can only do that within 10 feet. I'm retconning that. That's dumb. Beep. As long as it's within your blind sense, you can target it. Upgrade. It makes more sense. La, la, la. Well, Zir said fuck it. Um, she was going to heal herself, but her healing is an action, which would mean another round of uh, nothingness, and she fears her mother. So she's running like stupid. Not abnormal for her. <laughs> Up to boss. And she has a 20 to hit. Just hits. Fantastic. She... Goes crazy, goes stupid. And then... That also... Fire. Do you do sneak attack damage? Nope. Okay. It just automatically rolls sneak attack. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. I was confused. I was like, that number's very... That's very much of damage. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just... um. It's 12 piercing, 3 fire, and also the poison damage. Poison damage? Uh Uh-huh. You're wielding the Thorn of Haragoki. It deals an additional 2d6 poison damage. I am not. I'm using my Hrapier. Ah, okay. Never mind then. Ah, yes, Hrapier. Right. I would would not want to wield my Thorn in the possibility that they were to try to take it from me to use against Mumther. That so makes I'm sense. Using, so I'm so, using yeah. repeater. So it's just 15 then? Yes, 15 total. Cool. 12 piercing, 3 fire. All right. And um, I'm very injured, so I'm so going to... Down to 48. Cunning action, disengage. <laughs> <laughs> um, I... How far did I move? It's hard to hard to see squares amidst all the blue uh, chaos. You move. I move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, so I disengage yeah. and back up a five feet square. <laughs> there you go. All right. Uh, Clovis. Mm-hmm. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do to get her on the ground in one turn or to get Galnus close enough. Um, so I don't think... I don't think hitting her is my best option here. Especially now that you can heat metal. Um, so I think uh, Clovis will... Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, up to here. Uh, and I need Zir to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, as I use my channel divinity. Is this a spell or other magical effect? Uh, channel divinity. Dreadmaster? It's a magical effect. Okay. 21. Oh, now it works. <laughs> Fucking course. Well, um, you are not charmed, but I'm still going to say the thing that Clovis would have said to try to do this, uh, which is you hear through his voice, but also through the echoed voice of Stendar, um, a group of siblings has appeared on my census. All are accounted for, except death. Do you know that name? Zia, roll the wisdom safe. Hey. You can roll this with advantage. Nope. <laughs> Dude, I got that 19 and I'm never going to get it again, baby. Wait, wait a minute, this. Quick, you had a month to go out and buy dice for her. What are you doing? 
I need you to know that I own an unreasonable amount of dice. I don't like doing math. So, so here, I need you to know that we sat together and picked out dice for her on her couch. It's fine. Oh, we did pick out dice. We did. <laughs> I did. I was like, you know what? I should use physical dice for Zier. And I actually went through my entire dice collection and picked out ones that I thought would be good. Um, um but but Matt, Matt, no. So next life-threatening battle, then. The next one. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, however, I no, am... No battle will be life-threatening enough for me to want to do math. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, so true. folks. So true. <laughs> yeah. um... And to be fair, the, I, I, I'm i using paid D&D Beyond dice. <laughs> They're not the free ones, so I didn't buy these ones. <laughs> do we think the free ones are the ones that are rigged? Because <laughs> they Maybe. won't give D&D Beyond money? That's funny. <laughs> Uh, I am going to bonus action cast a uh, spiritual weapon. Um, All right. Right right up on the woman. All right. So it's the column? Yep. Drop it on her. <laughs> All right. Oh. Uh, go ahead and roll an attack. Yep. Nope. That's 11. Yeah, it's not going to do it. But hey, yeah. it's there. Mm-hmm. It's there and she has to deal with it. Okay. So, um, moving on, that is Galnus' turn. So, to explain uh, why Galnus can use heat metal with his blindness, um, Galnus being an Oath of the Forge Paladin, which is a custom class, metal and fire are specifically attuned to him, and he can call to the metal as long as he can sense it within 60 feet. It doesn't work for his regular spells that require line of sight, but this one specifically makes sense for him to be able to do it. So, Galnus, if you don't mind. Um, so we have um, the horny little girl. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, I obviously know where she is, but feeling that pull on me, um, I drop both. To, like my shield is in uh, my left hand, my hammer in my right. I drop them. I'm just going to almost like I can see her. And you'll start to see the metal on my weapons, the shield and the hammer start to well up as my eyes start to burn. And I'll say, feel some of the fire you've removed from this world. And as I pull them towards me, staring at her as the head of the hammer starts to glow, almost a, uh, you guys may not understand this, a uh, a forge welding kind of orange, like yellow. Mm-hmm. And the, the top of the shield starts to bri- glow the same. The sp- the javelin in her chest starts to take on that same property as it the heat extends into and through her. Okay. Uh, what level are you casting this at? Um, I can only cast it at second level because... Uh, All right. Uh, so go ahead and roll the 2d8 damage. She's going to take that regardless, but we'll see if with her save she can pull the javelin out of her chest. That will be 12 fire damage. Nice. Um, okay, she will roll a constitution saving throw. Uh, she screeches and pulls the javelin out, but the damage is done. Uh, you said it was 12? Yes, 12. Nice. And I will use um, as a bonus action one of my potions. <laughs> my last okay. potion, actually. Um, what is All it? Right. It's uh, 1d4 plus 4. 2d4 plus 4. 11, I'll take it. All right. It is Madame... uh, Madame Selchadot is actually going to use her bonus action or her legendary action to fly to right here so that she is closer to Clovis. Um, You notice, however that the wounds on her body don't close as if they have been seared open Mm. as if fire stops regeneration Mm. Mm. however a bit of troll in there uh she does recover her screech but she's not going to use it right now she is going to attempt to bite and claw Clovis. But first, I need everyone except Galnus and Zir 
to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Uh, is this a magical effect or a spell? No. 23. Okay. okay. Uh, you said wisdom? Mm-hmm. Um, also a 23. Well done. Quedan? Uh, bu- 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 bu. What was the check one more time? Apologies. Wisdom save, please. Wisdom save is 9 plus 8 is 17. Okay. I'm I'm glad it was you that failed this. Um, Bosric and Clovis, you steal your will, but Quedan, just the, the reality of this thing that you're facing hits you, and you are frightened. So I'm stunned and... Okay. You're no longer stunned. The stun oh. ended at the end of your turn. That's the why stun. your turn got skipped. Excellent. Okay. So you're just afraid. So great. Really. Uh, but really she is now going to unleash a flurry of attacks on Clovis. She will try. She will she try. Pro- and she probably will succeed on it, some of them. Um, claw attack will be a uh, cool thirty. She'll succeed on that one. All right. For ten slashing. Okay. Reduced to. Oh, well, not reduced nope. to five, because you haven't activated your sport power, yes. So no, I uh, had second, more pressing things on the brain. Second claw attack. Uh, might not. That's a 15. Nope. No dice. All right, and then she is going to attempt to nosh on that sweet neck meat. <laughs> Fail. You have, a, you have such a way, of, way with words. <laughs> hey, thanks. Uh, so she is unsuccessful with her bite and only got one claw attack. Queden, you are frightened. Yes. Um, God, I was going to use that as a good excuse to heal because I can't really do anything if I try to go up against them. Okay. Oh, that's, that's a good right. Excuse. I need to heal me. I forgot <laughs> about that part. Mm-hmm. I really forgot about that part. Um... Fear is definitely a good motivator to make yourself not die. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good, uh, what you said, yeah. Um, I am going to use up my, my last, I, oh, man, man, oh man, yeah. Last third level, uh, slot here. Okay. Or, okay. Uh, and for um, for those keeping up, she is ten feet off the ground. Excellent. Thank yep. you. So within reach? Mm-hmm. No. Rats. Cool. I'm gonna do this with visible dice. Cause I'm not trust I'm not trusting today. One, two, three, and four. Oh, no, it's just three. Hey! Seven, six, and five. That's... Eighteen plus five. Twenty-three. Okay, well... Alright. It's not great, but it's not the best. That's twenty-three health. Okay. Uh, well, yes. Um, and at the end of your turn, if you could make me another wisdom save, please. Great. That's just... Oh, no, my wisdom's super good. That's 19. All right, you are no longer afraid. Hey! It just took you healing yourself. Let's go. Um, All right, Seltradot is going to use her legendary action at the end of your turn and try and slash Clovis one more time. Excellent. Try being the operative word. Uh, It's another 30. It'll hit. As that happens, Boz, (coughs) suddenly the moment slows down. And he's not sure what's happening, but he sees her hand, and he holds his out, and she has to go again because of silvery barbs. Okay. Yes. Twenty-four. Still hits. All right. Fourteen slashing damage. I will give myself the advantage. Okay. Fourteen, you say? Mm Mm-hmm. No problem. All right, uh, but that is the end of her legendary action. So Bosric, Roz is shakes. Is, what's that? Was, 
<clears throat> so he's going to move his 30, which will get him... Uh, if she is in range of Clo Clovis, me standing hereabouts... I'll be you able do to not have melee range to her. She's have, in the air. But I have um, javelin range, right? No, because you are engaged with her. She is not engaged with you. Okay, well then I will stand back. Okay. One step to save. I can still have that five feet of movement if I need. But if she were on the ground, I would be engaged with her there? You need to move, yes. You need to move five feet further back to not be engaged with her. Okay. I will save she that movement for... All right. So, she has big gangly arms. I will use my first... Uh, first, a normal javelin with the advantage that I pilfered. Okay. Uh, 24. That hits. And then... All right, let me roll. Seven. Okay. And then I will use the super javelin. Okay. Cheers. Twenty. That hits. Is she down? Uh she will be after she takes damage. Yes. Okay. Seven. Seven more damage. Okay. I will take my last two steps forward to engage her action surge. Nice. Is she prone? No. Okay, so I'm just swinging the ball. There is action surge. Here it is. Okay. So. Swing in with the sword. Uh, 17? Miss. No, sorry, 18. <laughs> cool. Um, I will pump in a. Uh, how's she looking? Fine. Bitch. Um, well into three digits. Of course. Why is it not letting me roll? Another seven. Um, and yeah, it's, I'll do my second to last of my spore power. Okay. So 2d6? Correct. You're all manual. Oh, much better. Nine radium. All right. Sounds good. And another 18. That hits. To hit with my final attack. Mm -hmm. mm. um, 12. I rolled. I'm not doing that. That's I, fine. I will, I will brave the math. All right. <laughs> um, Selchidot is going to use her final legendary action by spending two legendary actions. I need a deck save from Bosric and Clovis. Okay. Um, 16. All right. Special for me. Uh, you found the thing I'm not good at. <laughs> Oh, that's if it only if it affects only me. Does not affect only you. Hmm. Okay. That's fine. Uh deck save is a fifteen. Okay. Both of you take sixteen bludgeoning damage and fall down on the ground. Okay. And then she was is that, going I'm assuming that was failing the roll. Yes. She will fly over here. You said 16 damage? 16 damage, correct. Okay. Zir. Uh, ah, damn it! I was gonna, um, I was gonna second wind, but never mind. Go ahead and second wind. Uh, 
uh, Boz is here right next to me. You see Clovis just hit the ground head first, and he's out cold. Ooh, nice. That 16 is negated. Okay. I I need Mother to know that I cannot sneak attack without her presence. <laughs> then tell her. Mother. <laughs> Mother, I wish to sneak. <laughs> Mother, Mother, I trade in violence. Let's see. Well, I'm gonna 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Rapier. Okay, you have advantage. He is prone. So you can sneak anyway. Oh, I didn't know he fell prone. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. La 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 la. Let's <laughs> see. I'm going to hit. Maybe. 24 to hit. Oh, wait, I have advantage. Let me roll again. Let's see if I crit. Let's hope I don't. I didn't. So 24 to hit. That will hit. And then here's that. Plus fire. So 22 damage total, two of which was fire. I'm at 26. And then I'm going to do something that I'm curious about narratively. Okay. I'm going to use whales. Okay. Which whales are you going to use? See, and I'm really interested in what my siblings are going to do in this scenario. So I'm trying to make that choice. I think I'm going to use... Well, prone doesn't make sense. All oh, right. Mm -hmm. Is Clovis prone? Well, he's not. Clovis caught. is unconscious. Yeah. Great. Which does mean yes, he is also prone. <laughs> What's Queen at? Queen is up and about. Um, I would like to target Queen to be knocked prone. Okay. By Leif. Strength so... save. Ooh, 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 um, sorry, the Gwimbley came out. Um, no, what, what is my proficiency bonus? <laughs> Should be three right now. Yes, there it is. Oh my gosh, I it's in a different place on the D and D sheet than it is on your normal sheet generally. So, okay, so that'll be DC fifteen strength save. All right. Um, or sorry. Yes. DC what? Fifteen. Cool. DC fifteen. Uh -huh. Strength no save. Problem at all. Let's do it. That's a fail. That's a f six. Okay, so Zir, you call out to your siblings, and um, you see a spirit that looks like um, oh. Irania. Yeah. Walk out and tackle Queen into the ground. Mm -hmm. Okay. As your sister was, drags him to the ground. I there were three <laughs> ways I was I was thinking that was gonna go, and the and that one was one of the ones that frightened me the most. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> All right. But I'm going to say that that shakes Zero a little bit, and I'm gonna let you roll a wisdom save. Thank because you. you were expecting a Minotaur, and you got. A Romanian woman. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the difference. Not typically the same. <laughs> Basi, that sounds like a Thursday for me. <laughs> I failed. Okay. Of course. Uh, Clovis, roll a death save. Okay. That is a 14. All right, that's a success. Um, Galnus. There is a hunk of metal sticking out of her chest. You do need to get within 60 feet of her to target her, but I think you can do that. Your friends are also perishing. Well, I can't heal you. <laughs> In Galnus's defense, his friends are already dead. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Friends um, too. I'm actually already in the, um, in range. Mm -hmm. So, uh... 
Once more, I'll, I'm, I'll just say, it looked like last time it tickled. Let's see if we can turn up the heat. And I don't know if you'll let me do this. I want to melt that inside of her. Um, I'm happy to burn two spell slots to just keep this molten metal inside of her. Burn two spell slots and I'll give her disadvantage on the con save to pull it out. Yeah, so I'll do that. Uh, and as I do it this time, my eyes are just, you see almost the fire coming out of them as that javelin starts to melt and drip inside of that hole. Okay. Um, your shield of faith is gone, by the way, because this is concentration. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fully aware of that. Just making sure. Okay, so yeah, burn two spell slots, do the damage, and I'll give her disadvantage on the constitution so okay. to pull it out. Am I doing one uh, roll, or am I rolling twice? Uh, just do the one roll of 2d6. Your, the extra spell slot is for the disadvantage. It's uh, 2d8. 2d8, then. Sorry. It's going to be 14. All right, so she will take 14 fire damage in a second. Uh, her constitution is very high, so you do want her to fail this. Yeah, I know. Roll very low. Uh, rolled a 21 both times. Okay, mm. well, it's worth a shot. Because you burned an extra spell slot, I'll give you an additional D8 of damage. Roll another D8. That'll be seven. So 21 total. Nice. Yeah, she felt that, but she does pull it out. And I will start um, to move uh, towards the others a little. Okay. I'm trying to move in such a way where uh, maybe we're not all in a cone. <laughs> I'll move to... Um, yeah. I will say I'll that stay, because she is, she is sort of feral right now, she's not smart enough to use the obvious advantage of screeching you guys. And you have done a ton of damage to her, so she is going to fly over to you. And she is going to attempt to uh, do some damage to you. That makes sense. Uh, first attack will be a 20 to hit, which I believe will miss. Miss. Second attack is also a miss. Third attack is a miss. So she did not do well there. Yes. And Queedon. Yeah. Yeah. You're up. I'm up, baby. I'm gonna... Uh, well, this needs help. <laughs> yeah. Bleeding out, just a little it, bit. Just a bit, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, cool. So, we are gonna... I'm gonna mark off my third level spell slot, first of all. And I'm gonna give you... All right, I've got one fourth level... Also second. remember you were prone, so make sure that was within half of your movement. Uh, yes, I've got because okay. I've got yeah. Yeah. That was Yeah, we're chilling. Uh and I can be Cause I have Yeah, we're chilling. Okay. Um Thank you for the reminder. We have. All right. Second level it is. All righty. Cure them wounds. I'm going to try. My wounds. <laughs> They're curing. That's Mama, a. Mama, it's a miracle. Seven and a three. So eight, nine, ten. Plus five, you get fifteen. Alright, you will sustain one hit. Conscious with 15. Yes! Any bonus actions? Don't think so. I could try to sh No, I can't. Um. No! Bonus action. Cry. Bonus action. Don't hit me, please. Okay. Good. Um. So with that, we're at the top of the line. Well, she's going to do a legendary action. She's going to uh, attempt to fly away. Can I get a um, dexterity save from you, please, Galvis? Wow she, wow, she rolled low. Okay, that is a fail. Uh, you will fall prone. You will take nine bludgeoning damage because she rolled, like, next to minimum damage. 
and she will fly over next to the column, forgetting that it is there. Uh, yes. And with the that, hand. we are going to take a break. We <laughs> Back. Now, as we left, Bosric! All right, well, first thing, I observed the whole whales thing, right? Uh-huh. I'm going to lock eyes with Zier and really quick see. Zier, I've met one of your siblings. Leif, the Minotaur. That wasn't him. Open your up, and she's trying to take your real siblings from you. And then, but I'm still, like, prone, and I'm yeah. still staring up at an angry proto-vampire. So, yeah, and then make a save. Before before you finish your actions, you make a save. Because this will determine or not. No, just a save. This will determine whether or not you still count as hostile for the. Well done. Okay. Thank you. So okay, that because there's no flicker of recognition, Boz just feels that sinking feeling and it's so terribly he doesn't know what to do, and then all of a sudden, that same feeling that came to him when this when he. Manip was able to manipulate Seltronaut's attack, comes back, and he suddenly, in an, in such a way that would dazzle even the petrified, even the uh, charmed Zier, he begins to move. He doesn't get up, he floats, blurs, in an elegant arc, around and around as his cape flutters out in this big blurring line as he casts Misty Step. So as that feeling enters you, Bosric, you hear a voice, sort of at the edge of your hearing, say, Come now, warrior. Walk with the shadows. Walk with my kin. And in a flutter of black feathers, in a blur, Bosric disappears. Ooh. Wait, I was hoping for more of the... Oh, we're not done. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. That's the first interaction. No, no, no. I was hoping for more of the 47 Ronin. Oh, no. You you did the, like, the 47 Ronin blur, but you left behind a cloud of feathers. And he's suddenly standing. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's see what my range is. Oh, perfect range. I'm just going to throw a couple, a couple okay. javelins. Okay. Net 20. All right. Now, is my sport power only usable in close combat? Yes. Figure. That's okay. <laughs> All right. So six plus five plus another D6. Yes. So 11 plus D6. Uh, just 12. <laughs> okay. Good hit, though. 20. That's uh, a 30, 20 this time. 11. Goes to 11. Nice. And that's all so I got. That's max damage. Well done. All right. Uh, she has used all of her legendary actions, so she is out. Uh, Zir. There is a now conscious Clovis, but Bosric is still the primary threat. You can be tactical if you want, but Bosric is the one doing the damage. Bosric and Galnus are doing the damage. Yeah. But Bosric turned into defenders. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I mean, I'll just continue to whack on Boz. He's closer okay. and I know him better, so I feel like she would be like, well, I, I enemy I know versus enemy uh -huh. I don't. 5, 10, 15, 20... Um, let's see. Probably just rapier. Uh -huh. mm, all right. Here's something. I'm going to do. Yeah, I hit her twice. Is she down? Uh, yes. Who's done the most damage to Mother? Bosric. 
Okay. I cast upon you Zira's first ever spell. Yippee! Woo! Yeah! What a lovely time! Hooray! Yippee! Zira's first spell! <laughs> Friend, make a wisdom save. You don't get to say friend and then make me have a wisdom save. Uh, I think she was talking to the player, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Boz versus wisdom save, therefore you're talking to him. Uh, but that's okay, because that is... I have Boz, you motherfucker! Make a wisdom <laughs> save! <laughs> I don't know what's on the state. 22. <laughs> okay, you save. Um, let's see... Okay, nothing happened. Nice. I don't want you. I don't necessarily want y'all to know what it was until it's effective. So I'm going to send me a DM. Say, I want to know what it was. Uh, yes. Um. So she attempts to do a spell, but she's never done one before. She's not quite sure what's going on, and your will is too strong. So she just kind of stares at you awkwardly. But it was a bonus action spell, so she goes ahead and attacks you. Um. Rapier. 25 to hit. Yep. Um. Do damage. So you take 7 piercing and. Refair. Alright, I'm down to 16. All right. Uh, Clovis. Yes. Conscious and um, prone. Clovis is going to stand up, move his 15 feet here so that he is within 30 range of all, count them, all of his teammates. Um, <clears throat> and he is going to begin, uh, he's going to activate his spore power as he begins casting a spell. Um, and all of you, including Zir, because it is any creature, not any willing creature, that I choose um, benefits from the effects of this. Uh, and you hear in the Clovis Stendar voice, this night is dark and long, but the city still stands. The torchlight will hold us for now, and someday soon, dawn will break. Uh, and I'm going to cast Beacon of Hope. Uh, so any number of creatures of my choice within range for the duration have advantage on wisdom saving throws and death saving throws and regain the maximum number of hit points possible from any healing. Yippee! Awesome. Zir, you feel a comfortable warmth wash over you that you did not, you have not felt in some time. Roll a wisdom save with advantage because of Beacon of Hope. Yippee! Now you're going to roll two 20s. Or two ones, we'll see. Nope. I, Jesus Christ. I don't think baby. you, I think you want to be a villain. <laughs> <laughs> we love, we love villain here. Uh, yes, over, one. over my shoulder, Just I'm going one. to say to Quedon, hey, some help would be great. Oh yeah. Thank you for all that you've been doing. Don't forget your spiritual weapon. Two. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you um, can whap her with that. Uh, I could do that. Yeah, I'm gonna move it to twenty feet into. Oh, yeah. oh no, she's on the ground now, right? Yeah, she's on. She's grounded. Yeah. Yeah. So I say that to uh, to Queen, and I look back over my shoulder. Oh, that's right. Fall. <laughs> um, and let's go. Roll. Uh oh. Fifteen. That is a miss. Yeah. Um. All right. Galnus. Well, sadly, I don't think anything's hanging out of her this time. No, there's two, two in her. There's mm -hmm. two javelins in her, yep. How she many do you have left, fresh by set. the way, Bosric? Five? All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll moving forward, I'll be like, 
I'm running a little low, guys, and my... One, two, one, two, three, four, five. And I'll be like, come to me! And again, that it'll start to get that welling uh, heat on the, um, the javelin. I will not burn the second spell slot this time, but... Okay. Will, as it starts to heat up and protrude through her, it will do... 12 damage. All right. And after doing that one, he'll just... What is your spell save DC? Uh, my spell save DC is a 16. Okay. So she does. She is able to wrench it out. Oh, yeah, easily. Um, okay. Still one in there. Um, it is... Yeah, she is burned, so she doesn't heal. Uh, it is her turn. And she sort of chirps in an odd way that none of you have heard before. Uh, but Zir, you recognize as acknowledgement. And then she moves to right here to flank with Zir. And is now going to unleash on Bosric. Well, nice knowing you guys. I'll uh, get to work on that second character. 27. <laughs> No, it doesn't hit wrong. Not, not remotely. <laughs> 17 slashing damage. I am down. Okay. I am. Or, uh, um. Yeah. Um. Uh, so she just has to hit me again, and I'll be dead. Yeah, but she oh, won't. She's uh, gonna move to right here. And she's going to take no, the last two no, attacks against no. No, no, she just takes me down. No, she just takes me down because I use my relentless endurance. I'm just down. Okay, so you are unconscious. Um, she will go to Galnus and attempt her last two attacks on him. That is a miss. And a 28. Uh, yeah, that one will, uh, that one will hit. Okay. Uh, so that will be, uh... Is it a bite or is it a slash? It's a bite. Oh, no, then I'm definitely going to... Uh, well, let me see. It's uh, 28? Mm -hmm. No, it's just it's, it happens. Okay, so that is 28 piercing damage. Yep. And 4 necrotic damage. Your so 32. Spells, yes. Uh, but your maximum HP is reduced by 4. And you see that some of her wounds do heal up from that. Yep. Um, and that will be the end of her turn. Queenan, did you get yes, it? Yes, I did. <laughs> Good. Excellent. Um, cool. So, hidden step, uh, until this, are, were there two? What the hell? Um, you, <laughs> Okay. Last until the start of my next turn, or until I attack, make a damage roll, or force someone to make a saving throw. That does not include casting a spell or healing. So it does I'm not. A, I'm going to go invisible just so I save my own ass in the space between... Uh, and then Boz is down, yes? So mm -hmm. heading straight there. Starting to think we weren't meant to win this That's one. That's close. That is. That is me. That is you. That is you. I was here, but oh, I'm gonna have to. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can make it there. Cool. One, two, three, four. It is hard to see the squares. Yeah, I regret. I'm never using that carpet six. again. I just, I needed it to show an area. Mm. Ah, shoot. Yeah, uh, I, have to, if, I have to zoom in all the way. <laughs> if Zira is, if Zira is hostile, does that mean... What? Well, strictly speaking, you haven't done naming to her yet. Does that mean... Okay. Yeah, Zira's not hostile yeah. to you. Okay, you excellent. I was, I was inquiring about, I was inquiring about Attack of Opportunity. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, that only, that's only if you leave. Not enter. You're super, leave it. You're, su you're super right. And even then... She'd have to watch you. Probably wouldn't. Yeah. Uh -huh. Excellent. 
And as a reminder, because being unconscious does not negate you the benefit of Beacon of Hope, uh, Boz will gain the maximum amount of hit points that you can give him from whatever you do. Does that include potions? <laughs> yes. Yes. Hell yeah. Any form of healing. Okay. So that's... So a, a versus... standard healing potion is 12. Yep. If that's what you're doing. 12 versus... A greater I'm... would be 24. I've already used my greater. I'm looking at cure right. wounds. Uh, ah. Eight. Yeah, I'm definitely... I'm. I'm cure wounds and okay um, so a level one cure wounds i believe is 21. i'm doing i have 21 max damage great or you know what i mean yeah it, it, it's damage in reverse it's fine yeah <laughs> <Damage> <laughs> all right in so bosric you healed 21 hit points I'm, I'm invisible also yeah i was invisible I, i'm so sorry y'all i was on I was on like three layers of fuckery when I was. Okay, if, if you questions. if you heal him, you will no longer be invisible. Uh, but it. You're but, casting a spell. Yeah, and we went over that spells are not listed. Yes. In, in yes. Until you yes. attack, make a damage roll, or force someone to make a saving yes. throw. Yes. Correct. Invisible correct. Until the correct. Correct. Turn. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, then uh, we will move to Bosric, but first she will take a legendary action to try and slap Yalnus around a little bit. I believe that will hit. That is a natural 20. Yeah, nat 20 is just naturally hit. Uh, so that will be... 16... 22... Uh, we didn't have no nat 20 button? I do have a no nat 20 button. Do you want to use it? Yes. Okay. I got, I got three of those, yeah. All right. The no nat 20 button then changes it from uh, 30 to um, 14. Better. Small Damage or hit? Damage. All right. Because it's still a hit. It's just not a critical. Oh, yeah. hell, I've got oh, so okay. many of those. I've got six of those. What the hell? How many have you already used? Uh, or did like? Oh, got, they come I've back got, on short I've, rest. I've got three. Yeah, yeah. So I've nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. So Bosric, it is your turn. <laughs> Good use of that because that would have been bad. <laughs> yeah. I'll okay. get up. Um, I I'll... get up again. <laughs> Zia, remember, uh, what do you, Zia, remember your riders. You were death. You were their leader. They're counting on you. Don't let Sanjay not take them away from you. Wisdom save with advantage, Zia. Yippee! <laughs> For the love of God. <laughs> Please. I, oh, let, hold. Hold on. <laughs> so I don't get yelled at again. <laughs> I will do the math for you. All right, go ahead and take your turn while she's getting those, boss. Oh my god. How, how high up is, uh, is the woman? Ten feet. Okay. Really excellent. I grabbed, I grabbed the ones that jingle. You hear that, folks? That's <laughs> awesome. They jingle. If these fail, I will never say another word about it. Xander, you are correct. I am trying to kill them. I fail. Of course. Damn it. Out of curiosity, what would it have been if you had rolled it on the macro? Watch, it's going to be two nat 20. Yeah, I know. I promise you. <laughs> Just to spite you. I fail. Yep. Nah, that's a 26. Oh, that's a 14. That ain't a fail. Because it's a 12 and a 12. Uh, that's, it's showing oh, it's adding yeah. them both. Yeah, I see. All right, so, Boz, it, it falls on deaf ears, unfortunately. Abysmal. All yeah, right. Right. I don't know why it added them together like that. That's very strange. That's weird. I've never seen that before. Yeah. Yeah, that was a 12 uh, and a 12. I'll start another javelin. Okay. That'll miss. Okay. That's so odd. Why is the 21 happening we'll like that? That hits. 
Seven. Okay. That's the only time it's done that, too. I don't know why it decided to do that just All for right. that one. Um... Action surge, or are you done? I don't have an action surge left. Okay. Uh, um, Madam Selchidata is going to take another legendary action to try and slash Galness. Uh, fail. Zir. Can I can I say something so fucked? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Queden is not hostile to me. He's not. He's also invisible. He's yep. invisible. Mm-hmm. Do invisible don't, don't people... Do invisible people give flanking? Uh-uh. Okay. If he were not invisible, since he's not hostile, can I use him for flanking? Uh-huh. Nice. <laughs> Wouldn't he have to be hostile to Bosric for that to happen? Nope. No, because <laughs> it's it's based on allyship, not hostility. And until he is hostile to me, he's not he's my friend. It's based on you, not the target. So I can use him for flank, but he's invisible. I'm so, so smart. Did I hear a legendary action? Yes, it failed. Oh, okay. I know it, it's it's weird, Preston. I, it is. That's why I was. That's why Can't I write said a letter to Wizards of the Coast about that one. That's why yeah. I said it's fucked. <laughs> Let's see. I don't do anything special. I'm just. Continuing to quack on bars. You you would get like one attack because then Queen would immediately become hostile. No, I of imagine. Course. Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, I do a hit. Okay. Twenty six. My attack rolls are fucking killer, folks. <laughs> I do nine piercing and one fire. So From 10 damage. Damage. Down to 11. You All right, any bonus actions? Mm. No. All right. Uh, uh, rogue, rogue don't hit twice, right? No, not unless they have a sneak. second hand weapon. Right. I always for gore. Okay. Uh, right. bonus action. Mm. I mean, I can disengage, I guess, but I don't necessarily want to do that, so I don't think so. Selchidot will use her final legendary action to try and slash Galnus one more time. Uh, 27. That'll hit. Okay. 11 slashing. Yep, happened. Clovis, you're up. Mm-hmm. Um. <clears throat> okay, getting very tired of this. How about a gun? Uh, and Clovis <laughs> is going to cast uh, <laughs> you also guiding, have color. guiding Bolt. Okay. Um. Mm, let's do we'll do second level Guiding Bolt on Seltra Dot. All right. Never fucking mind. As a 12. Okay. Yeah, that, that will not succeed. But you have a pillar. It can't you do have a pillar. Her. Yes, it can. She's in the sky, no? Uh, she is 10 feet in the air. You can move the pillar to get within range of her. Uh, well, I, I physically cannot move the pillar, but I will. Okay. Move I it. will move the pillar for you then. To slap her around the buttocks. Except it doesn't. Because that's a 14. Well, she's also out of legendary actions and in Galnus's range. So Galnus, go for it. I, I, I have no spell slots. I have nothing left. Um, I'll just sit there and just be like, Finally! And I'll just start swinging on her. All right. Let's see. All right. Uh, 16 plus 9. That'll hit. 25. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let me 
roll that up. All right, that is all right. A one uh, plus six, so it'll be seven. Okay. And second hit is a, oh. I just rolled it twice and it rolled off the desk both times. I'm not, I don't. That's a nat one. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. We are no longer fighting Clint. We are fighting the dice. That's a nat one. I'm going to assume I miss. And I will just uh, end my turn in shame and sadness. Okay. Uh, Seltradot is going to go. She's just going to keep trying to wail on you. Uh, 22. All right. Good to know. Uh, miss. And that is a hit with the bite. Uh, so that is 23 piercing. What? Uh, we can't hear you. Uh, I'm down. Okay. All right, so Galnus goes down. She will heal. And, uh, Quedon, it is your turn. Great. Who is looking, who's looking the worst? Galnus is oh, unconscious. Yeah, Galnus is, is unconscious. Zero looks pretty yeah. rough. Just a reminder, well, no one's healed her. Quaden, roll a religion check for me. I'm really fine with that. I mean, I'm not, you know, I, it would suck if you went down, but you're not being a friend right now. That's a... Eight plus five is 13. Okay, continue. Great. Um... I gotta, gotta go over to my guy. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm uninvisible. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Thank goodness. Run on over. And all I got are first levels. All right, but still the maximum. Oh, we still got the maximum. Excellent. Yep. So it's so... still... 21. 21. So Galnus, you're up with 21. That'll be the next. That'll be my next few heals. Thank in you. That case. <laughs> I'm literally. I'm just out of breath. You have to be like keeling over, like tongue out. Okay. Oh, well, okay. You're invisible. Well, I, I not anymore. No, at the start of the last turn. Um. um or, Seltradot or turn, right? is going to see his wounds closing and kind of freak out, and then she's going to flap her wings. I need uh, Quedon to roll a deck save. Unfortunately, you auto-fail um, for being on the ground. That is... Ugh, now the Minimum battles damage. are coming. That's uh, a deck save. It's mm -hmm. just 12. Okay, so you both take 8. Okay. And she will fly here. Um, and Queen and you are pro. Yeah, right after. Bosric. Uh, I mean, what's even the points anymore? Don't have a bad attitude. <laughs> Just fight her. Deal. I know it's frustrating, but you got this. I'll keep trying to work on Zero. I was like, Just fight this. Come on, you're the greatest. You're the greatest thief in, in this tennis, in the entire tennis area. You can beat this. You're better than this. You're better than her. All right, he appealed to Zier's fault. Roll with advantage and plus four. Whoa. Because he did appeal directly to what Zier wants. He sure did. Yeah, success fucking finally okay that's awesome that's oh, awesome. you would you that's would have so succeeded cool. even without it so um, yeah. awesome. you see zir's pupils kind of dilate and recenter and zir you shake it off and zir you hear a voice in your head say i've been trying to talk to you for some time that poison blocked me you have good friends 
Uh, Zira is herself again. Well, Seltradot does not seem to have noticed. Seltradot is still flying? Yes. You are, you no longer treat them as hostile. Yes, okay. Yeah. Okay. Last, I'm on my last three javelins, so... So, so like, you're, you are yourself, but, um... Yeah, I was just... Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Is... Portals. You're Things yourself, portals. but you're still poisoned, yes. Yes, excellent. No point, no point! It's... We're done. I'm out. We got one more javelin. I hit nothing. Can you not move up to her and hit her? She's on the ground. You said she was in the air. She flew over there, but she's on the ground. She's mm. just over there. Mm. Oh, well, that now that I know that... <laughs> yeah. All right. So... I thought she was just perpetually in the air. She's moved, she was. She's moved all over the damn place. But she's tired. Oh, she she's she tuckered out. She uh, yeah, she's tuckered out. Do you know how many times she's whooped y'all's asses? She's tired. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Red 20. Pumping in my last. You in and out. Bash your head in. All right, so that is 12 plus whatever the maximum damage for one-handed Katana is plus your strength plus then roll it. Um, plus 14 plus 1d8. Um, plus seven. No, okay. Um, no, that's with the plus one from. Never mind. All right, and now yeah. roll, roll two more d6 because you also get the spore damage on top of it. Okay. Five. Five total. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, she's starting to look a little tough. The crit uh, need was just around the corner, gang. She's bloodied, which means you have you have reduced her to half health. Hmm. Um, and, I, and my last thing, I'll look at Zero and say, Zero, Scorpion. Hopefully that gets through. All right, Zero, go for it. Um, I look to Boz, and I say, I can't hurt my mom. And I will move and hide. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Because you are yourself, you can make another wisdom save. You still have advantage because of Beacon of Hope. Aha. Oh, fuck yeah. Success. You are now... I'd like to make a note that the two successes have come from the digital dice. <laughs> <laughs> you, you stand feel, corrected. We stand corrected. Thank you. You feel the poison drain from your body as you regain control of yourself. Okay, do it. Madam Seltradot does not seem to have noticed. When does that happen? At the end of your turn. End of turn. Okay, so I've, I've stopped here and hidden. Mm-hmm. Okay, do you um, want to stealth? Go for it. Shwink. The dirty 20. Very nice. Um, Seltradot is going to use her final legendary action to take a swipe at Boz. Uh, that will hit. For 18 slashing damage. Dead. Unconscious, well, you're not dead. All right. Dead. Clovis, you're so up. I'm something that begins yes. with these. I am up, and I'm checking a rule right quick. Okay. I would also like um, you to roll a religion check for me. Okay. Oh, no. Something I'm good at those. Uh, that's a uh, 24. You hear a voice in the back of your head saying, when you must fail a tower, my son, you do not attack the walls. You attack the heart. Attack the heart, and you feel your weapon drawn almost by a magnet to the statue. I'm looking at the statue! I'm not crazy, you're crazy! Um, you, you, you with the, y'all figured out the thing to the fight, y'all had it and then just forgot about it. God damn it. Okay. 
Um, I have I have never heard Preston achieve the pitch that he just <laughs> achieved. I need to point that out. <laughs> the DC for this religion check was twenty, so. Mm -hmm. But I was like, um, I got I gotta give them something. Okay. Um. With that. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. 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 Um. Hold on. I need to read this. <laughs> I just keep like clicking back into chat out of the game, and I really love chat. He's not trying, but he's succeeding. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm also uh, not sorry because I'm all the bad guys, to quote Brendan mm. Lee Mulligan. <laughs> um, uh, I think Clovis is going to uh, look at Seltradot, uh, look at his friends, um, and purposeful to be on the opposite side of, of the pillar uh, from Zir, uh, is going to say... <clears throat> Yes. Uh, when you attack a tower, you do not hit the walls. You hit the heart. When you're taking down a leader, you strike for the head. Uh, and I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt at the face of the statue. Okay. So this statue has a very low armor class, but it does have a damage threshold. You need to do at least 12 damage to hurt it at all. Okay. That's, uh, I think, fine, because I'm going to cast fourth level... Guiding Bolt. Okay. Um, which is, that's a 21 to hit. That'll and hit. And that's going to be, um, come on, damage. Oh, one of the virtual dice has landed on top of the other one, so it's not settling. Uh, that's 22 uh, radiant damage. <laughs> this statue has a health of 20. Okay. Clovis, will you please roll for me? 10 d10 force damage. Sure. How <laughs> how might one go about doing that? Um, On roll I, 20, if you use the dice roller, you can do it. Where might one find On the dice? On the left, roller? there is a the roller left, there's a d20, yeah. There's a little dice at this the very rules, bottom. This by the way. This is the coolest thing Queen's ever seen. click on it? Yes. Okay. D10, you say? 10 d10, correct. Yes. To everyone, how I make it do multiple? Um, um, you'll probably need to go to advanced to. Yeah, go to advanced dice roll and it'll let you do it. Yeah, I'm gonna click it ten times, gang, because that okay. sounds like a lot of work. That's so fun. So three, four, five. Oh, I just clicked the button multiple times. That's great. There we go. Here's the other five. Okay, roll one more d10, because I only see four of them. Okay. Yeah. Give me ten. That's a seven. I'll take it. All right. Um, so, uh, as you strike this statue and it shatters... A concussive force that all of you can visibly see hits Seltra Dot, and she screeches with the sound of shattering glass and hits the ground. She is stunned for two turns. Excellent. She will be regenerating, but she is stunned. Mm hmm. Okay. Um. And then I will walk right next to her um and uh you have anything healing but you know you did you did your thing i do not um i'm i'm gonna walk over to this uh position pull out my spear i'm gonna look over my shoulder at zir i've met your family zir this isn't her come show her what you could do And that's my turn, because Guiding Bolt is an action. All right, uh, Galmus. <clears throat> All right, so I have to choose whether to be safe or be reckless uh, getting over to her. So I'm pretty pissed at her, so I'm going to have to roll, run over there. Uh -huh. 
And so you can get to her with 25 feet of movement. Oh, can I? Yes. She takes up nine squares. She's huge. That's true. You can't say that. <laughs> yes, I can. I made her. <laughs> um, so being I'm not there, body shaming um, her. <laughs> I'm going I to. I like big ladies. I've I drop into this world. Still I will say I drop my shield when I get there, and I just start going, oh, and I just start swinging, screaming yeah, at the top of my lungs. That means you um, do a d10 of damage. And, uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, you have advantage on the attack. Because she is incapacitated, it's an auto crit if you hit. Okay, uh, that's my first one's a 17. Uh, wait, 17 plus 9, 26. Oh, okay, that hits. And then the second so an one. auto crit. And the second one is a 22. That will also hit. So, uh, d10 plus your strength is 5, right? Uh, plus 1, because my weapon has plus 1. Okay, so that is so, uh, 1632 total. Yes. All right, and now roll two more d10 for me. Uh, that's a nine and a seven. Okay, for a total of 16. Got gotcha. you. All right, that was a good hit. And I Soldier just... Dot is, is Actually, good? no, um, I'm, I'm not done, because it turned out I thought all my spell slots were gone. Um... But I do have this Searing Smite. Okay. Um, and so I'll, I'll burn that next time you hit a uh, creature. So I'll do... Uh, can I retroactively do this? I'll say that it's on top of one of your crits, yeah. Okay. Um, so that'll be um, 1d6. Um, auto, so it'll be 6 automatic because of the crit. Yep. Um, Plus another d6. Yep. And then... Oh, another d6. I'll take a 5. So it'll be 11 fire total on that. And she is ignited in fire. Okay. She's also still on the ground screeching, holding her head. Yep. At the start of each uh, of the, each of its turns until the spell ends, the target must make a constitution saving throw uh, or take more damage. Okay. Well, she is good at those. I know. It sucks. Uh... Wow. Oh, no. Uh, 15. 15 what? 15 constitution save. Oh, no, that's not going to... That's okay. got to be a 16. Then D6 of fire damage. Oh, yeah. Four. <laughs> All right. Tweet it. We're, uh... I'm, we're hitting, we're hitting I'm down. Oh, uh, you're super down. Okay. We are still healing. I'm a going. And I've still got two first levels, so okay. we are... What a use for a fourth level spell slot. I got... Wow. Yeah. I'm so happy for you guys. Really quite cool. I'm so glad that I got to, I got to use my fourth level spell on the statue, which I knew it was going to be! I knew it was going to be the statue. I, that's so rad. That's so fucking cool. And uh, I want to do cool so things. So I'm gonna I let uh, I'm gonna let the audience in on a little behind the uh, behind the um, yeah. the curtain. Do. The statue was nothing when I first made it. It was just a statue. You guys obsessed about it so much. I made. Oh it god! Thing. It's the chair. <laughs> it's, it's, it's my vulture. It's my chair. It's my everything. <laughs> it's your night, Yorp. Am I up? Um, I yes, you are I'm conscious. You, you're 21, right? Mm hmm Yeah. One left. All right. Mr. Kolb? I'm actually going to... Uh, I'm going to look at the, the shot statue. Look over, look and kind of put the pieces together. I'm going to look over at Clovis, and I'm going to go... You're the strategist now. And then I'm gonna look down at her, and we get advantage. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And hits her on her crits because she's incapacitated. Well, that still will not hit. <laughs> I'm still a little shaky. Mm. It's alright. You got another attack. But I rolled a one. Too shaky. This isn't. Yikes. I'm. <laughs> yeah. This is. I used up my cool moment. You guys. You had a. It was a very cool moment. All right, Zier. 
Your mom personator is on the ground. Yeah, fuck that. And this bitch poisoned you. She sure fucking did. <laughs> this bitch tried to take your siblings. I'd like to poison her right back. All right. Oh, are you drawing the thorn? Ah. Of course I fucking am. <laughs> All right. Um, I go up to her. And I just whisper, fuck you. <laughs> tonight, the dog, tonight, the child punishes the parents. Oh, that's so rad, dude. And I crit. Wow. Woo! I mean, you would have anyway, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> but I got an idea. I'm going to use my crit yeah. cancel. Um... <laughs> so, what a dick! <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know. Uh, that's what you get for being the bad guys. That would here. be so funny. That would be All so right, funny. So let's that see. Actually... That is uh, D6. I don't think so. So that's six plus your dex plus two. So what's your dex? Five? Dex mod? Four. Four? Okay, so that's 10, 12, 24, and then roll a D4 and two D6. I would like to smite. Okay. Um, oh, I didn't take into account sneak attack. So hold on, that's 3d6, so that's 18 more. So. Okay. Um, and then... Uh, oops, eight. Jesus, okay. And I would like um, to win. <laughs> Whale on her. Okay. I can do. I mean, I there's no you can do both. Yeah. Limit to them, right? So, um, and we decided. Okay, so I know we've talked about it a couple times. Mm -hmm. Wording is, you target a second creature within thirty feet of the first creature, uh -huh. and we decided that we can go ahead and do it to the same creature. Uh -huh. Okay. Which would mean, and then, so the base whales does 2d6 necrotic, and so... Um, we'll do Gwen's. So I get to roll the necrotic, necrotic. <laughs> the aquatic damage. So I get to roll the necrotic, and then I also get full sneak die rather than half when dealing whales damage. Yes. I should have done whales damage to. No, you shouldn't have. Earlier, but uh, that didn't happen. So, oops. Um. The, the hand of God steered you away. So four, okay. Thanks. All right. Well. And then you smite. It said, okay, so it's roll full sneak die rather than half. Yeah, so that's two d six. Which it rolled. Oh, really? Yeah. Because base is 2d6. Oh, roll another d6. So I'm not sure how that works. Yeah, I don't know how that worked either. So yeah, just roll another d6 and I'll let it off. Okay. okay. I don't want. <laughs> All right. And then I smite. All right. Um, so there's... Um... Man. Is she an undead or fiend? Uh... Yeah. Okay. So that's 3d8. Well. Wow. Well, that's uh, only two, so yeah. Okay. Wow. That's okay. That, wow, but that was so much damage. All right. She's not down, but she's not doing great. Ah, uh, dang. I was really hoping I would be the one to kill her. That's okay, though. That's so good. All right. Uh, many damage has been done, my friend. All right. Clovis. I want either you, Zir, or Galnus to kill her. Because you both have skin in that game. Me? No, Zir, Zir or Galnus. I want one of the two of them to be the one. Okay, if you I kill her, say, that's I fine. do not have skin in this game. And I'm not going to do it. Um, hmm. Well. 
I'm going to do what it would make sense for uh, what, what Clovis would think to do. Uh, so I'm going to, rather than uh, hitting her, I'm going to walk over to uh, Bosric, put a hand on his shoulder and say, <clears throat> Bolgraf, give this man your hide. Uh, and I'm going to use my last spell slot to cast Enhance Ability. Um, Bears Endurance? Yes, Bears Endurance. So you gain nine temporary hit points, and I'm going to activate my uh, feature, uh, Voice of Authority, since I have cast a spell on a friendly ally, uh, and I'm going to put my hand on Basrin. I'm not our tactician, but I guess I'll wear the mantle this one time. Get her. So, All right. Uh, twenty-two. That hits. That's an auto crit. All right. So, so that is thirteen plus a D eight. Uh, three. Okay. Oh, uh, fourteen plus a D eight. Did the fact that I used Thorn earlier do anything? Um, yes. It did. It is going to continue her stunts. <laughs> okay. So 17 damage against total. Yep, I got it. All right. That's me. Gauntless. All right, just gripping the haft of my hammer and just turning it upside down. I'm going to walk around, uh, not leaving her, uh, I'm going to walk around to the front of her with the top flat of my hammer. I'm just going to just start jamming it down the flat directly on her, uh, on her head. Okay. Wait, I wanted the skull in. <laughs> All right, that'll be a 14 plus 9, 23. That hits. So that's an auto crit. So and that is. It's the D10 plus uh, six. So yep. 16. Um, the, the second one was a nat 20, which I guess doesn't really matter. All right. <laughs> um, Gelnus, please narrate the death of Madame Selterdot. I will cut the music for this. Um, so after, was it the first hit or the second hit that killed the it? The second. So. With the first one, with it coming down, and I'll, I'll need that your uh, approval to do it. Is it, I see the skull like her. I can see her skull starting to move in an abnormal way, and I'm gonna pick just drop my hammer. I'd actually like to walk around and use my shield. Pick up my shield, put put the hammer behind it, and go. This is for Corey, you piece of shit, and drop my full weight with the hammer on top of her head, shield first, hammer driving down, and pretty much crunching her entire skull. Actually, like part of the uh, the shield, with the way it's coming down, probably severs part of her spinal cord. Um, so her skull does not shatter. Oh, um, that's sad. Her skull is unbreakable. It is made of that unbreakable diamond oh. um, that the rest of her bones were. However... There are spaces between those bones. And as Galvis brings his full weight down on the back of this woman who has harried him for the last 200 years, he cleanly crushes her body and severs her head. And Galvis, as you stand back up, you feel a hand much too large for anyone in your group. Gently squeeze your shoulder. And with my hand still behind my shield, just. Um, is it, is it male or female? I would know from the. It's Corey. You got him. You got her. No iron sight. We got her. Took you a little longer to get back than I expected. And then the presence fades. As she's talking, he puts the cigar back on his shoulder, like where her hand would be. 
mm-hmm. um, her presence fades. I'll hold the take the cigar back, and I will. Um, I don't use it very often. Um, I'll use produce flame and just burn the cigar away completely and say, thanks for holding it for me. Good work, team. Uh, Boss will look at Zier and go, you okay? I've been better. Um... She does the, not look good. She, uh, looks, say, she looks like um, she's been very ill for a while. Like, yeah, he says, uh, do you mind if I give you a hug? Uh, no. Basil, can you give her a big... Um, Quedon, you would have felt the, the actual physical energy of a spirit passing over, but only one. And you get the feeling that maybe this was one of the allies that Galna spoke about. I'll produce a new cigar. Oops, he did not know I was muted that whole thing. Um, yeah, I just uh, I want to I want to heal Zir, uh, but like I I feel that I see that I like look up ahead and my eyeline traces down to Galnas. I just make as knowing of a look um, as I can just put a hand on my chest and nod uh, and turn around and go to Zir and Boz's hug um, and I'll um, I will look uh, yeah I'll look at them I'll say not really the, the hugging type, but hopefully I can do something as, uh, well, a little something is equally helpful. Um, and I will get you my last first level cure wounds. Nice. Speaking of hope is still active, yeah? Yes, 21. So that's 21 hit. Um, and then I, 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 yeah, I... Like I will like put a hand on like on your shoulder as I do that, uh, and then I I look up at um, uh, goodness I look up at Clovis I say we we knew it we knew it that was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life that was so cool that was so cool what's up uh, what's up giving zero hug Well ridden death. And pat her on the shoulder. And then I'll go and I'll go to, to uh Clovis and go. Me, I am the best. <laughs> and so you're just kind of <laughs> I literally like I, I literally I go, hell yeah, like I'm like kind of pumped after this. Wow. <laughs> like, uh, well, while you guys are doing your circle, I'm gonna just put down my hammer and shield, get down on my knees next to the body. Um, and I'll set it on fire and then just bow my head and I'll just stay there until the body's burned. And then I am making, I am making a round, like I'm to go to this and then we can like, yeah, thanks for keeping me up. And then I'm going to go to Galnus and, and kind of, I'm glad your friends can rest. I'm glad you got your vengeance and I'm putting an arm on a uh, hand on his shoulder. Thanks. And I'm just staring at the flame. You guys did nice too. Uh, well, as you all have addressed him, Clovis uh, is standing very worn because he's also mostly dead. Um, but he seems to be standing taller and broader and he looks more comfortable with his shield and his spear in his hand than he has before. Uh, and he looks down at his feet um, and all of you, since you've all been affected by Beacon of Hope, uh, may notice for the first time, since we're not in active combat, that there are little rings of, of baby tortoises circling around your feet. Uh, and he'll, he bends down, scoops one up, uh, looks up at the statue and says, I fucking knew it. 
<laughs> I fucking knew it was the statue, guys. You knew it. You knew it. Um, mm. From a swig of a... You'll hear, like, his the sloshing of his drinking. He'll go, could have been the couch. We could but still... We are never discounting the couch. We could still again. take... You know... I walk over to the couch and bury my spear in it. <laughs> yeah. uh, All right, I need you guys to roll initiative. <laughs> roll the couch, mimic! Whoa! Um, Boz will actually go to the severed head. Cut the flesh open and pull the skull out. Oh, no, there, there it's is It's on no fire flesh. right now. It's, it is. It's all it is on gone. fire. It has been burnt away. Oh, yeah. so it's just the skull? Mm-hmm. I'll pick up the skull. Galis, would you like to wear it as a trophy? Um, I'll take it and look at it. I'd like to destroy. If not, I will. I'd like to find a way to destroy it one day. No, you want to look cool, I guess. Uh... Well, I, I mean, I had this cool idea of thing I was going to do with the town when we get the other skull. Um, there's another skull we have to get to give back to them and be like, oh, this is the skull that we took from Seltranor, and this is the skull of Seltranor. <laughs> I'll, I'll just breathe in deeply and create a nice bit of ash, and I'll just draw the symbol of a lion, which looks a lot, it looks almost identical to the what's on his shoulders. Hmm. So let me ask, um, do you want to draw Etrigar? which was not Corey's, or Lanaria, which was hers? Lanaria. Okay. So it is uh, it is a tiger, which is what appears Sorry. on his, I believe, left shoulder. Yeah, this left shoulder. Yeah, so I'll draw yeah. the, the tiger. And then I'll take the, um, the small little uh, lantern at my side and ask the spirits, do you want to burn this in? You hear a voice that you haven't heard before. It is a very soft, motherly voice. Uh, it sounds very similar to the Mother Hearth, but it's softer. And it says, Allow me. He will Corey be taken back. Was, Who are you? Like, and he's Corey loud about it. my <laughs> avatar, after all. <laughs> Sorry. You would know me as the All Mother. Cory was an avatar of mine and one of my favorites. Can they? Can everybody hear this? No. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I, I won't stop you. Um, do you all want to so get in you, on it? You didn't hear the conversation, but you do all see the vague outline of um, a tall, older-looking woman with braided white hair reach out and touch the skull. Is this a, f a familiar manifestation? No, but you've studied enough to know what Lanaria looks like. That yeah, that's that's yeah. what I was. I know um, I haven't seen her, but what I know her um, to take this sort of form. For those who do not have the lore document at home, Lanaria is essentially the Zeus of my world. She is the queen of the gods. Hi, Tiger. Mm -hmm. Tiger. Uh, I will approach her and, at a respectful distance, uh, do a a sort of soldier's kneel. Uh, spear pointed straight upwards and, and give a bow. Um, the essence doesn't seem to acknowledge anyone. It just kind of comes out, touches the skull, and vanishes. Mm -hmm. um, um, you seeing what ahead. happened, I will once that happens. I will turn it to the side. On one side, I'll draw. It looks like uh, an anvil, and on the other side, I'll draw a fire, like on the sides. So the tiger's here on the far head, and then on the other ones, it'd be like, well, we did some work too. Just talk into my lantern. <laughs> um, so, Zir disappears, as she ah. is wont to do. Um, and she comes back with a haul. Um, Zir, with that 20 investigation, um, did you just go... You only really had time to go to the basement. So you would have found uh, Seltradot's journal. Yeah, that was the um, specific thing I knew I was going to grab. And then yeah. the investigation was for everything else. With that 20 investigation, you also find in one of the drawers pages that had been torn out of the journal. Woo! 
can't say I or dated. I love that we got lore and then we beat the character and now we're getting the secret lore. <laughs> they are dated earlier. DLC. Much earlier than her arrival. Ooh. Um, and the first entry says, I haven't told Heinrich yet, but he's going to be so happy. He always wanted one. And I hope for his sake that it's a son. Yeah. And then you see another entry dated seven months later. He is gone. Yeah. That's what I thought. And that's the only entry. And then there's more entries of her trying again to have children and being unsuccessful. And the last entry says, it's this damned blood. The immortal told me I would have whatever I wanted. He did not tell me what it would take from me. Heinrich is long dead. I will go into the forest and find a place to sleep. And if the gods are kind, I will never wake. You can share that information with the party or not. That's up to you. Not at this time. Okay. I think everyone in the party can surmise what her failing was and why her specific power manifested the way it did. So, would anybody like to check upstairs on that happy note? Um, I have uh, something that I think Clovis would finally have the mental space to think to do. Okay. Um, and I think he would approach Quedon about it, but I don't know that that needs to happen at this... Like, in lore, it would be happening at this time, but I don't know that it needs to happen right now. I just want to put it on the table so that we don't move on without it. Go ahead. You can go ahead and do it. Okay. Um, he would approach uh, Quedon then. Um... Quedon, are you familiar with funerary rite? That's a stupid question. It's your whole job. Very, yes. It seems to have gotten away with uh, away from us that uh, we've left someone behind. I'd like to say a few words. Absolutely. I don't know what exactly it is you people do during this part. I'm a bit, I was a bit squeamish, so I usually stepped out during that part of the service. Yes. Um, I take out, I don't know if I have anything like specific in my inventory, but I'm definitely, I'm definitely garnished in all kinds of like. I would say that Queen and carries funerary spices and, and things. Yes. Um, I was looking for like any specific terms or words that I might have in my inventory. Um, but I've got all kinds of like... He would have memorized and, the prayer of Zarakis. Yes. Uh, amulets and, and all the all the spices and things and the prayers. Yeah. Um, let's... Uh, before you have a chance to speak, but just as you're getting prepared, uh, Clovis kind of just wanted you to like perform the right, but uh, he, right. he's going to step forward to the blazing corpse of Seltradat and say, we weren't friends, so I'm not going to pretend that we were. And um, we weren't particularly kind to you, so I'm not going to pretend that we were. But you did well. Better than I would have, certainly. So thank you for that. And thank you for trying your best to be a hero, despite everything that was. That is all. Rest well. Stendar, a place in the city for him, should he choose to come. Zir, I think you, you get upstairs just in time to see this sort of funerary service happening. So if anyone else has things they want to say, Zir, you are present for it if you want to say anything. Mm -hmm. 
But, uh, I know you're also reeling from the information you just found out. So. Um, I've she's got, still burning. I've got like the prayer going, and then I've there. There's some there's some hymns attached, so I'm just doing some like low humming. Yeah, she is still. She is still I, I think the body has smoldered at this point. Okay. Um, if there is enough heat or flame, I will burn the germ. There is. I will do so. And that it's old. Mistake. It's old and oily paper. It doesn't take long to light up. Yeah. Um. And she'll she'll just place it on the flames, and just whisper quietly, "I'm sorry." Wait a minute. Are you doing this for her or for Nazura? Sorry? I'm talking to, to... The funeral, I think, we're, was for Missouri. Yeah, the funeral yeah. rites are for yeah, Missouri, okay. certainly. Well, Boz, so Boz, already, Boz already drank to his memory, but he will pull his, He will give a... I'm so sorry. Uh, I thought we were funeraling for... No. For no. 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 Clovis, with the, Clovis with the does the not yet know you, there's a reason to do yeah. that. Yeah, with the exception of you, nobody knows that she had anything going on other than hate. But I do like the idea that the journal was burnt. Hmm. Yeah. Zero has, yeah, Zero has done that. And then where is everyone else? It's still sick. They'll just nearby. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, kneeling. Here. Yeah. I don't have the map Basically where they are. Yeah. yeah. But I'm just kneeling down. Um, and I've got some, I've got some like, can I have some like, inc like an incense stick I burn? Okay. And, and saying, saying my little prayers. Okay. Um, do I get the do, do I get the feel that other people want to say anything or? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Zir does. Yeah. So she. Okay. So let's slight right con. Um, she walks over to the rest of the group. She's come back with this journal. She looks a little solemn. Um, there's like I don't know. There's like a weird mix of emotions because she's really excited about the fact that she finally got to loot this place. Um, uh, but what she looted wasn't necessarily fun so uh she i think initially is like what the fuck are y'all doing <laughs> uh, i'll look at her when she says that bit of a ceremony short to the point practical i think that's what he would have wanted who mess yes oh okay I have some words for him, but I have some words for her too. Um, and I'll walk over to the body and I will do as I said. I will place the journal down. I will whisper the I'm sorry. Uh, and then I will step away as it smolders. And then I will walk back over to where the group is. Um, I'm still at the body, mind you. I'm keeping mm -hmm. that fire going. We're kind of on the other side. Yeah, so you probably you probably would have been the only person to hear Zir say I'm sorry to her body. Um, you would have heard a mutter. Her. I'm not. She, she just—I don't know. She, she cracks like a weird smile, um, and then walks over. Um, uh, if I, if it wasn't for Mez, I wouldn't be here. Probably multiple times over. Um. And I think it stinks that I get to continue to be here and he's not, but I have to make with the circumstances what they are. So um, let's do him proud. Here, here. To the people we need to make it up to. Well Thank said, Gomez. Thank you for that. It's been weighing on me for some time now. Proper goodbyes, so. Uh, it's important. Clovis will pick up a piece of statue rubble. What? <laughs> what is this? It's just Aurum. Okay, but it's a big statue made of Aurum. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll, I'll look at uh, Zir, who I... Noticed had left at some point and then saw come back, uh, and I'll I'll hold a big chunk. 
Might not be the kind of loot you were expecting, but, um, i sort of glance up at the big statue. Finders keepers, am I right? Yeah, still fucks. Um, I'm going to go check out upstairs. <laughs> she uh, runs come upstairs. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I actually follow. I'm not going to be very useful in a search. I mean, sorry about that. Uh, but if you guys get through this place, let me know, because I'm going to burn this place to the ground. Excellent. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, if you're not going to assist in the search... Uh, I think I'd, I'd be a detriment in that area. Understood. Um, do you want to demolish this statue with me so we can sort of cart all of the useful pieces outside and sell them? Um, why don't you help them search and I'll break everything in this room? Yeah, I'm not good at breaking stuff, so I like this plan a lot better. Um, I Gallus. break things just fine. <laughs> Gallus, you feel a heat sort of pulse in your chest, kind of like a heartbeat. And you blink for the first time, really, that you notice that you're blinking. And when you blink, that 10 feet of vision suddenly expands like somebody turned a light on as your spore power reaches level two. You now have 60 feet of blind sight. I'm sorry, 30 feet of blind sight, 60 feet of blind sense, and three times per day, without spending a spell slot, you can cast Hunter's Mark. Hmm. He got the vision. He got the insight. <laughs> uh, I think at this point, Queden's like vision starting to go a little bit, uh, a little bit blurry with all that, all that healing and channeling he had to do. So I'm, I'm good to just take a sit and like. And watch Galnus go crazy. <laughs> okay. I'll give you um, a pat, a, a squeeze on the shoulder. Go sit on a couch. Yeah, you did. You did an incredible job. You, Please go sit down. You Your knees the, look yeah. like they will collapse immediately. Thank you. Thank you. Zier, go ahead and roll an investigation check with advantage since um, Clovis is helping. So is Boz. Boz is with him too. Yeah, yeah Boz is helping as well. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You've got other stuff to deal with. Advantage. I got a 26. Yeah. Nice. Um, you find, you know, some finer clothes and things. Um, you also find an amulet of Haragoki. Oh, fuck yeah. And... Immediately on. Immediately and... placed upon my body. <laughs> Very tall, clearly made for someone of Seltradot's height priest vestments, as if the dagger had not belonged to someone sent to kill Seltradot, but Seltradot herself. Damn. I a cleric of the fall. nature. Um, so yeah, you you wear the amulet of Haragoki. Um, you amulet. also find um, amulet Haragoki. You find five ironwood javelins, which are uh, javelins with plus one damage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you find we will say five resurrection diamonds because like I don't know exactly off the top of my head how much they're worth but you find five diamonds worth what it takes to res someone okay it's wonderful. and you it's find a fist sized black pearl that seems to have smoke moving inside of it dude which may or may not be the jewel you have been sent to collect. It's yeah. not. <laughs> it just looks like one. <laughs> um. Okay, so I will give the jabs to Boz. Okay. I will point out the priest vestments to Clovis. Um. Who's capable of res? Do we have anyone capable of resurrection at this point? Uh, we're both capable of casting revivify with those diamonds. Yep. Oh, nice. Um, I will hand them all to you, and then just say, uh, split split them accordingly. We'll do. Are um, you doing this in front of everybody, or upstairs? no? Just just upstairs at the moment. Okay. Um, and then I will hold on to the pearl. So javelins plus one or just plus one damage? They're just plus one damage. Oh, okay. So you might have to make some custom ones. I can do that. 
I will hold on to the pearl for now myself as well. Okay. Um, and that all that all you find in Seltradot's room. In the daughter's rooms, you find uh, some fine clothes, um, jewelry that's probably worth upwards of a thousand gold. Whoa. Pocketed. And, um... I'm probably only able to retrieve, like, seven javelins of the ones I had, right? Uh, I'll have you roll investigation when you get downstairs. Um, and there, uh, you find one of their, like, sickle hook weapons that they were using. Uh, which, if you want to wield, is a short sword that if you hit with it, they have to roll an opposed athletics against either your athletics or your acrobatics. And if they fail, they're grappled. Grapple rogue? Interesting. Oh, shit. World Ooh. ain't never seen that before. Uh, and it is light, so you can wield it in your offhand if you want to. I did notice you took the dueling fighting style, so you might not. But if you do, you can. Is... Can I make it wet? I... I mean... You make it <laughs> wet if you try hard enough. Yeah. Okay. I'll hang on to it. Okay. And then you find the, the gold in the finery. Okay. Rather than oh. get into the, the minutiae of it, so how much I have... Hold on, okay. 1,500 gold worth of jewels. I have so many things. Okay, 1,500 gold worth of jewels. Jewels How many, how many and... diamonds was that? Five. Five. Okay. Jewels and fangs. 1,500... GP. Add item. Okay, so I've got jewels. I've got smoky pearl. I've given away diamond. I've got amulet. I've given away javelins. Uh, I don't care about clothes. Fuck the clothes. Mm, well, I'll grab the priest vestments if Clovis doesn't seem to do anything with them. I I take them. Excellent. They are way too big for you. Yeah, I still take them. Okay, just making sure. Uh, what else? Anything else? Oh, Anything so she was always a really tall queen. Mm -hmm. Um, yes. Uh, the uh, the sickle. Right. The the short sword hook thing. <clears throat> short sword hook thing. So I assume we're searching hard, the entire hard place, door, correct? Hard, hard they they have finished. This will be the end of the search. Well, I thought you said I there was one more search downstairs. They already yeah. did that. But I, what about, I, the, I, what I, about I, the skull? You have the skull. No, the, the skull that, that was that taken by the The Orum skull oh, that they uh, took back. Zier would have gotten that with the 20. Okay, good. Because we have to give that back to the townspeople. Neat. Because God. that would be the ultimate brag. <laughs> Tragic life for Seltradot. Born to be mommy, forced to be Dommy. Whoa. <laughs> you hate to see it. Uh, but yeah, so that's what you find. Bowser, go ahead and roll your investigation. Because there is a story element I want to get to before we wrap for that. Uh, uh, 14. All right, you get three javelins back, one of which is the returning javelin. Or not the returning as javelin, he, the seeking javelin. As he picks that up, he's... It's kind of... The, 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 all, the, all the fun is gone from his face, and he's just... <laughs> Um, but he still he still takes it. <laughs> but I, yeah, still stay. Do I notice anything funky about the amulet of Paragoki? Or is it just a necklace? Uh, you don't really notice anything. Okay. Okay. It sounds good for now. Yeah. Um. Yeah. For right now, it's it's nothing. Okay. Um. All right. So, do you guys make your way outside? Um. Yeah, I'll I come think... back down and let How... everyone know we found a bunch of fun stuff. Was uh, do you tell everybody everything that was found and where it went, or you just say, "Hey, we found some stuff. It's cool," and we walk out? Uh, I give Galnus the pearl. You give me a pearl. Yeah, I give He's you a smoky black. pearl. He's very confused. I... He's like, <laughs> and I say, you. I say. I'm pretty sure this is like the big thing we're here for. And since you killed her, I trust you to protect it. Oh, thank you. Assuming you're sticking around? Uh, yeah, I thought, I thought, uh, 
thought I would. I'd still like to meet some of the others. Um, you know, I don't I don't know how many of them are still around. I, but uh, we were supposed to kill them all, and it feels only right to finish the job. What is this? It's something the matron needs, apparently. It's a um. Well, then here you you guys did all the work up until this point. Shouldn't you be the ones to hand it over and be celebrated? We're a group. Are you with us or are you with us? And you you, you don't struck give me a, a lot of options on that one. I already said <laughs> I was with you, but when you asked that way, you I asked for a down. third option. <laughs> here, and I I I I'll give it to um Queden and go here. That, uh, yeah. No, you didn't get anything. Okay, listen, if this is going to be a thing, I'll take it. Yeah, take it, take it. Okay, yeah, I'll hold it. Yeah. Um, here's nah, some... we can get diamonds, don't worry. Here's some, <laughs> here's some diamonds in return. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I, I, I hand you the big rock and I take my little rocks. And I yeah. <laughs> so I think you. I'm going to give you uh, three. Okay. Because you're you're more focused on that anyway. And you have, yeah, okay. And I have the, the two in reserve, which will probably be for you. In case you go down. <laughs> While For you guys real. are doing this math, he's going to just, he's going to produce flame uh, in each of his hands and go, you guys might want to get out of here now. Isn't this guy's um, made of ice? Hell yeah. hell yeah, hell yeah. He's so cool. He's so cool. Let him he do is. this cool thing. Everybody, <laughs> get, everybody get out of here. I just Did start, we... I since I can actually see uh, further, and it's, uh, it's something Boz would notice. The others wouldn't because he's seen me run before. And when I run... It's kind of trepidatiously I run like I don't I'm trying not to trip, but I'm now running full speed. Um, like I'm not afraid of tripping over my feet or hooking onto something. And I'm gonna run upstairs and I'm gonna start going room to room and start burning things as I start heading down and I'm just going room to room and burning things as I make my way to the front. To, uh, oh, I do want to go downstairs and do one thing actually before we're, before while you're burning upstairs, I need to go down real quick. Take up the shards of the broken sword. Okay. Um, and then the last thing I'll do, the funny thing I'll do is as I walk out, I assume everybody would be outside at this point. As I'm pulling the doors closed, I'm just igniting the front door as I walk down the steps. Um, so the interior of the castle burns. The exterior seems to not burn as it is made of the same crystal that her yeah. armor was. But as you walk a little ways away from the castle, all of you feel the ground shake beneath your feet. And as you turn back to the castle, you see that without the animus of the stone and the statue, the castle collapses into the ocean. I, uh... Does anybody tell me what happened? <laughs> you can see it. Are we within 30 feet? Yes. Oh, I'll just... I'm, I'm, I'm claiming that. I'm gonna claim that. How is you? Yeah. And in case you couldn't, the, the, all the rest of the building is gone, too. All the oh. part that you can see. Oh, that's, um, that's even better. That's and even as better. Like everything collapses, you all hear a voice say, Samurai, I would have a word. And as you turn around, you see a hooded figure in a black cloak with what appears to be feathers around his shoulders, and a silver raven mask. And that is where we are ending this week's session of Biting Malevolence. <laughs>